college hockey. How's that pronunciation? Is that college okay? College hockey. We're working on it. College We're working hockey. on it. Today, the Spitting Chicklets College Gaming Tournament, NHL 21 on the Xbox. It's going to be electric, and it's all presented by our good friends over at Manscaped. I mean, Manscaped, let's talk about them. College is all about having a good time. I think we all know that. Yeah. Fairfield guy right here, he yep. definitely knows that. Beating your buddies in shell, and what else? Having clean balls. Key. Key. You heard that right. Our friends at Manscaped want you to prepare in style for your return to school and clean up your grooming game with the world's leading male groomer. So go to chicletmanscapecom slash chicklets. 20% off. We got the lawnmower 4.0. We got crop exfoliator, but that's just the beginning. We got a gaming tournament for you. We got a big old gaming tournament for you. We got rivalries. We got oh, oh we got dirt. We have Cat Ellis here who has gone behind the scenes. Cat, tell us what you're gonna do here. What's up, guys? I am Barcelona's Bruce, recent college grad. I know these guys better than anybody here, and I'm gonna give you all the inside scoops on them. I don't think they're ready for the chirps that I have. So let's get right into it, boys. You better get ready. I love that. Too, so she definitely uh we're starting off with bcbu i believe right college uh, the the battle of boston battle of the battle of i believe is what massachusetts they call it. that's what they call it yeah listen guys all right it's no surprise grinnell is going to be the hockey guy here i'm just here for the tournament for the casting for the energy cats on ice we're going to have an amazing night ahead of us bu bc we're starting and i'm declaring right now my team of the tournament is boston university yes sir. declared Thank you, Kat. Okay, so I'm not going to say that for this game, my team is BC. And I'm willing to place a little wager with you. Whoa. No money. No money. I just want to place a little wager with you. I know um, Barstool Game Time has been expanding their merchand it's merchandise true. game. It's true. I mean, unbelievable logos yeah. you have here. If BC beats BU, because I'm going to take BC. Okay. Shout out BC, my Eagles. Okay. Chestnut Hill. If BC beats BU, you wear a piece of ch Spit and Chicklets merch every single day next week. Okay. If BU wins, I'll wear a piece of Game Time merch next week. Every single day next week. That sounds like a fucking deal to me. Shake on it, baby. It's set. BU. Don't let me down. Don't get me wrong. I'll look really good in some Chicklets merch. But I want to win this wager even more. So let's do it. BU. So we win. jumping right in here? BU, BC? BU, BC. Before we get into the action, Granelli, how did these schools get selected for this action? Uh, I mean, I think it's pretty easy. I mean, to start off, BC, BU. It's the Battle of Com Ave. It's the, it's the best rivalry in college hockey. I mean, yeah. I get a lot of shit. People will say, oh, you leave out the NCHC schools, Granelli. You're an idiot. <laughs> Fuck that. Anyone who's been to the Bean Pot will tell you, BC versus BU. And I'm just going to start off by saying, BU's jerseys... Yeah. They're better. They're clean. We're They're about better. To, we're about to flip over so you guys can see the gameplay. BU actually customized their gameplay, and that looks clean. I know. I mean, BC came in with the with the maroon and gold, but I'll tell you what, they still don't have oh. the uh, the B on the logo like BU does. Yeah. So uh, let's talk about some of BU's players here. <laughs> oh, I First off, players. I want to talk about... Uh, oh, we BU's all around the rip! Jesus Christ! BU, let's go, baby! Let's go! See, my one worry is I don't know how much merchandise Game Time has, so I feel like I'm we're might, gonna make some. Don't worry. I, might, I feel like I'm gonna be wearing the same like gray Game Time T-shirt yeah. every well, day. Well, we week. we only sell underwear and left socks, so it's gonna be an interesting week for you. Perfect. Let me just put it that way. I mean, that's a hot start for BU. Like, let's go. That that couldn't have been better. Three v three hockey. It's gonna be a lot of open ice out there, and I'm pumped. All right, so, let's talk about the players a little bit. Cat, can we talk to you about some of the BU players here? Oh yeah, baby. Let's get right into it. First off, we got Luke Tuck. Luke Tuck is the younger brother of NHL player, his brother, Alex Tuck. And let me tell you, Luke really just, he is the, he doesn't want to be the life of the ah, oh, Let's go! Cut you off. Go yeah. back to Luke Tuck. Tell us about Luke Tuck. I hate to say it, but I feel like since these boys are all very involved in the hockey team, I don't think BU is going to bring the heat like BC is. But we got Camesso. Camesso is a goalie for BC, making sure the team is respected. His weakness, too many rides. That's in, baby. Are yeah. you kidding? 
All right, let's talk about Luke Tuck's weakness. He brushes his hair with a pork chop. Mm. That is a good chirp. You know one of the boys wrote that for him. Yeah, right there. 100%. So what do we have for a score right now? This is nuts. 2-1 right now, BU. This is actually a crazy game. This is a ridiculous game right now. So for those watching, we're playing threes. We're playing ESHL threes. Okay, so when I used to play this game a ton, like I used to be ranked very high. I think really? it was 16, 17. Get the hell Disgusting. out of here. Like gamer Grinnell, you think I left my room in college? All right, so we used to just play this all the fucking time. And I loved playing It's bowling. a huge college gaming oh, game. Oh, for sure. It's the Cause, best. Because you can play it with all the boys. Oh, and it's just BU's it's better right action. now. BU's yeah. better. Wait, wait, wait. That wait, goal is disallowed. That goal is disallowed. Wait, what? Let's go. We have a tie game here, baby. We have a tie what game. The fuck? We are Muppets. We are Muppets, big Pauly brand. Nice save. I was going to say, I used to play the goalie. The goalie is so hard to play in this game because you make one move. <gasps> Dangles. Oh, my God. Good save. Wow, BC. I like how the, uh, the, the BC goalie has the throwback Doug Ellis helmet. He's got the, <laughs> he's got the old school bucket there. Wow. For those who don't know, Cat's dad played goalie at BC. Very nice. We got an in-house rivalry going on. We got a rivalry in the studio. Things are heating up. Brother played at Harvard. Dad played at BC. Just a hockey family. Fuck off. BU. BU. Look at that Sally, too. That was a good Sally. That was nice, I know Wit's smiling somewhere. They're doing somewhere the Wit watching. helmets, too. Those are the, That's the Wit bucket right there. The old these CCM. Kids, these kids know what they're doing. Yeah, that's these, why I like these, them. These BU kids came prepared. This game is flying by too, so I haven't had the chance to play 21 too much this year. Uh, what do we got? Are these like the power ups? Does each player have certain skills and abilities? And that's what's going on. I see this yeah, so, energy bar for P. Barry. Well, no. So how it works in ESH, EASHL is, you know, you you create your guy. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You, you have certain skills that you have to hit in each yep. game. You know, you score three goals, you get like the points. Yeah. And yep. then you go to the store and you can buy certain things. Those yep. are the things that this guy bought right got there. It. So it looks like he's a sniper. sniper. He's got some type of mental up top. Yeah. And then he's got a, I think he's a playmaker as yeah. well. I gotcha. I like this. And guys, so we chose 3v3. 3v3 is just action packed. It's already a built in mode right into NHL 21. It's just so much action. And I think the best, the, the reason we really chose uh, the threes, EASHL, is there's none of that like glitch goal type bullshit. Like yeah. you don't have to worry about computer error. You yeah. don't have to worry. Like every guy is responsible for his guy. You don't have to worry about the computer playing yep. bad D, the goalie not stopping a backdoor pass. Yep. So it's uh, it's awesome. Yeah, it's an absolute blast. And I, I like it a lot too. So we'll, we'll see here. It looks like like there's a lot of offense going on right now. And I'm honest. Oh, that was a great save. I don't know if he hit the net. Oh, I don't know if he hit the crossbar or not, but that was. Can I ask you, would you. Do you wish that, like, remember how in the old NHL games they used to have the names yeah. above the heads? I wouldn't hate if they had the names above the head here. I like or, that. Or if each guy yeah. could put in their own, like, little nickname. Yeah, I would like that. I would be a big fan of the nickname, and I would like to see the names being a little bit more prominent out there like that as well. So we got some stats in here. I mean, BU's kind of dominating on the on the stat sheet, at least, with the time on attack, total shots. It's a 2-1 game here. I it's think, a 2-1 game. I think the funniest thing in the world, and I said I was going to save this for you, is people's Xbox usernames yeah. like, are the funniest things in the world to oh, me. Oh, yeah. The One best. of these guys is uh, Thugga Daddy. What does that mean? Thugga Daddy? Thugga Daddy. He's a glue guy. What is his weakness? McDonald's. <laughs> Connor is, yeah. Starkey. Connor Starkey. I like this guy. He's a... Uh, Oh, his college home domesticated a baby squirrel for a week last year. I gotta know how they captured it. Um, and then, and then, and then, is it cage or is it just running around the apartment of the house? I'll tell you what. I bet it was that Ryan Cater. I bet it was that Ryan Cater. Yeah. Hot dude. Hot He's dude. A, a very. Look at this kid. Look at that yeah. pick. Hey, look at this. He picked a hot. Don't show that to the screen. I have he, a girlfriend, please. He picked a hot yeah, pick on purpose, hot Ryan Cater. Cater, I was with your dad yesterday, buddy. We have a little video for him later Ooh, coming for you. But maybe at the end of game one, a little, uh, a little in between. One of the biggest agents in the NHL, that Ryan Cater, his father. Wow. But I love Xbox usernames. That's what I was getting to. Oh, it's so much fun. And yeah, you just love the ability because most people are loyal, and they got their Xbox username when they were 13, and they rocked with it. That's ex so, so like, what? Oh, oh, we got another goal, oh. BU. 3-1. I hope this one doesn't get canceled. I hope this one doesn't get canceled. I'm like fingers crossed, begging. Come on, BC, get it the fuck together. Let's go, baby. Let's go. We're dancing. We're dancing. Oh, 
Okay, so we can confirm uh, Zach Tuck is Alex Tuck's brother. Alex confirm. Tuck is a... He plays on the Vegas Golden Knights. Very Saturday, nice. Very, very good hockey player. Yeah. Extremely good. Very fast. Just wheels. Re taught himself... Not a bender. Oh, BC goal. Wow, that was a snipe. Is that Cater? That's fucking Cater, baby. And if it's not, I'm saying it that is. That was a snipe. Because he's the hot one on the team. We got Pig... I mean, they got nicknames in the game, too, I think. It's like Pig we got, and then it shows the name right underneath, too, which is very funny. So we also got a bunch of other games going on right now. Oh, yeah. Oh, as yeah. Well. So I'll pull up the bracket here, but we, we got a ton of 7 o'clock games yep. going on right now. And yep. Oh, my God, another goal. BC. BC's like making that. a comeback, baby. Just like that. we're back. They're back into it. Okay, He's so we, right now we also have ASU playing Wisconsin. Okay. We got St. Cloud. Yep. Playing Minnesota. A little Battle of Minnesota. Battle of Minnesota there. BC versus BU. And then we got Quinnipiac versus Minnesota Duluth. Wow. So we got three we got three Minnesota teams all on this left side. That's what I took out of it. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. That's pretty you, impressive. You, you, someone's coming out of Minnesota. You, you gotta win Minnesota to get out of this division. There's gotta be someone out there. Someone out there. And then guys at 8 p.m. So after these games, these games are best of three. We're gonna be showing you guys the games here. We're focusing on the BC BU gameplay, as you guys are obviously seeing here. And we got a breakaway for BU. Oh my god! <gasps> bender, Bender, Bender. You can't fall in that. I mean, are we, how, how, are we not going to call any penalties here? Oh, come on. Oh my god, Jesus Christ. Soft we, have Ryan, we got Ryan Whitney paying off the refs with the pink Whitney money over here. That's what's going on here. Grinelli. It's a bend. Oh, good defense. My god. Like, we got whoa. M Rags and Whitney slipping oh, the fucking baby. refs. Pink Whitney over here. It's about winning. It doesn't. It doesn't matter how you get there. It's about making it happen. I'll tell you. That's all we, we're doing. We had uh, eight. Have you seen that uh, new documentary, uh, Untold Crime and Penalties, on Netflix? I've not. It's, it's about the Danbury Trashers, right? Okay. But just, Danbury, Connecticut. Danbury, Connecticut, man. So, in 2005, a team went to Danbury, Connecticut, and essentially it was run by the mob. Yeah. And yeah. it's this unbelievable documentary. And long story short, we had. Uh, it's funny. So a mobster bought a hockey team. Okay. And he made his 17-year-old son the president of it. It's a, it's a professional <laughs> hockey team. He made his 17-year-old son the president of it. But the reason I bring this up is because we're talking about selling off refs. And he said before every game, they're bringing cupcakes down to him. Uh, they're bringing candy in between periods. Oh, so they're and, not even hiding it. Oh, no. They're not hiding it wow. at all, man. Dude, the cap was $250,000 in the league for the team. They yeah. were paying their players over seven hundred and fifty k. Holy shit. I mean, they were paying everyone under the table. It was, it was, it, it's it's one of the best documentaries I've ever seen. Was you this watch the it. NHL? No, like, it's called. It was the UHL, oh. United Hockey League. Back in you know early two thousand, it's kind yeah. of the same with like a lot of professional leagues. Like the XFL, almost, there, there, so yeah. Before there was like the big four. Let's go four three with two seconds on the clock. Two seconds on the clock. Still another period. We two seconds on the clock, baby. We still got time. Let's go. But there used to be a lot of professional leagues. Yeah. So there was the UHL, and this is also when the NHL lockout happened. Got it. So they were getting NHL players to come down and play with them. Yeah. But it was like the WWE. They're just got all it. in nonstop yeah. every game. So listen, I went to. This was like two years ago. I went to a game at MSG for first time in a long time. I used to go to West Point games all the time, hockey. All the time. Like me and my dad, a couple buddies would always go up there. But I never saw a fight because in, in the college or at oh, least yeah, at West Point, they, they can't fight, right? So I go to, um, it was Rangers Senators. One of my buddies asked, because it, it was his first NHL game. He's like, are we going to see any fights? I'm like, nah, it's not really likely. Like, probably not. There were, no joke, four fights in the first period. I was like, it was the greatest. It was the greatest thing I've ever seen Dude, in my life. So imagine the UHL oh. in Danbury, Connecticut. They yeah. were just like, <laughs> so it, it, the, basically the documentary starts off. They sign this guy out of prison, who we actually had on the show today, and the owner calls down to the bench right before the yeah. first game ever in Danbury, and he says to this guy that just just got out of prison, "I want you to drop your gloves before the pucks even dropped." Imagine, imagine a mobster owner that's paying your bills, just being like, "You have to fight like that." Yeah, you don't drop your gloves before the pucks drop. Yeah, like, that's you just no don't right. do that. Yeah, that's yeah. So it's it's I mean, a cool documentary. <laughs> that's some chill shit when you press when you press uh, yeah, Y. You got to Y before you shake it. He's just shaking. He's like getting ready to rock and roll. All right, guys, we're gonna be flipping over here. This is Michigan State against. Was this Minnesota? Yeah. No, Michigan State. No, wait. MSU? No, 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 no. Because this has to be. Oh Minnesota. yeah. So this. Is, wait, how is MSU playing right now? I think we did. 
A couple we had we had a couple schools that we had mixed to, and matched. Yeah, a, couple, a couple things had to happen. So I, I'm interested wow. to see if uh, if 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 this is Michigan State and they're they're playing Colorado, who who is who is dressed as the Montreal yeah. Canadiens here. Yeah. Um, interesting because Colorado doesn't have a Division One hockey team. Yeah. So. We had to have someone represent the ACHA. Had someone to. had to represent club hockey, so we hit up Colorado. Colorado stepped up, to their credit. And you know what? The I would say one of the founders of Barstool Game Time, Logan Spence, mm-hmm. you heard of him. He uh, he went to Colorado, so we had to put his team in there had for to. him. Had to. Logan, this one's for you, Mike. This friend. one's for you, Logs. So this is what we got here. Michigan State, Colorado. And I like, again, Michigan State. They, they matched up the colors. They got the MSU. They got the yeah. S. I like it. Jerseys look good. I'll say I'll say one one point where we where we missed. Yeah. No Michigan. Michigan yeah. is college hockey this year. Yeah. Dude, did you see Michigan's the, also pretty big at Barstool. In the top like ten picks, in the top twenty five picks in the NHL draft, they had like five guys That's go. Disgusting. In the top ten they had three guys. That's disgusting. It's unheard of, man. It's incredible. Like breeding them out there. There's the first overall here. pick, the second overall pick, the fourth overall pick. It's like, what the fuck are they doing yeah. up there? How much are they paying these it's kids? It's unbelievable. And right here, now we got the Gophers. Oh, we, got Minnesota. Gopher. we got the Battle of Minnesota right here. Oh, we got oh. a penalty shot. Oh, we're standing. We're standing. We got a penalty shot. Oh, what's he doing? Oh, oh he scored it. He had to, yeah, because everyone's he celebrating. Scored. Let's he go. Scored. It's a big one. Wow. It's a big one. He tried to do the my controller. Die. Yeah. So the thing is, when you have a, a user goalie, you just have to wait them out. Nine out of ten times, they just do a random. Hey, dive. know what I always think of? Who who is to tell this kid to drop the fucking the logo? You can't even see the goalie up top there. Yeah. Um. You know what I always think of is in D two Mighty Ducks when the coach oh. goes, "Make him make the first move, Conway." Yeah, exactly. I always think of that when I'm playing goalie, or even when you're coming down. Yeah. You're like, you have to have yeah. him make the first always. move. Always. Always. Also, one thing we didn't talk about yet. When you're playing with your buddies in Shell, you got to be trying to go down, right? You know what I mean? No, I want to Oh, you want to go up. Go Sorry, up. you want to go, go up. up. Always yeah, go so up. that's what you do, too, is, like, you get the home team, you get the away team to decide that. That's, like, so in most sport games, you, it doesn't really matter who's home and away, but in Shell, it is so advantage. important. So important. So, so the, the good... Oh, my oh! God! Oh, my God, that was, like, an own goal! That was, like, a deflection! Hey, let's talk about this game, though. I mean, we it was 8 2, now it's 8 4. Yeah, Mi- Minnesota's spanking them, though. Wow. I mean, they're the Yankees. I mean, I said it beforehand. I was explaining a little college hockey stuff to, uh, oh, to M Rags before this. And I said, and, and chat, correct me if I'm wrong here. <laughs> oh, nice. The Minnesota Golden Gophers are the New York Yankees of college hockey. I think I'm fair to say that. Say it one more time. I said the Minnesota Golden Gophers are the yeah. New York Yankees of college hockey. It's like you just you think of you think of class, you think of excellent, you kind of think of like over overhyped the greatest losers. organization out there. You think well, of overhyped losers. The greatest organization out there. Yeah, for sure. I agree. Definitely good looking. And yeah. I, I picture like Minnesota Duluth is like the Boston Red Sox. Like they win championships. Ugly. They don't have. They're ugly. ugly. They win championships. Hundred year drought almost. But they win. Yeah, playing a minor league stadium. But yeah. they win. Yeah. I, yeah, something like that. Day, yeah, you know? well, you're not wrong, honestly. And I don't have a foot to stand on there because the Red Sox have been beating the Yankees in the recent years. But we're here to talk about the Spin Chicklets College Gaming Tournament. So right now, Minnesota's up 10-4. So that that dominance that we see on the real ice is happening right here on the virtual ice too. We got no benders on Minnesota. I'll tell you what, uh, Minnesota oh uh, hired Bob Motzko uh, two years ago, St. Cloud State's head coach. Unbelievable hire! Yeah. I'd say he's the. I'd probably say he's the best coach in college hockey. Oh, I, I, I've been a big fan of this guy for a long time. Um, I thought what he did with the Saint yeah. Cloud State program completely turned them around, made them into a powerhouse. I yeah, Saint Cloud State. Like if you right. ever heard of Saint Cloud State, yeah. and then um, yeah. So I, I think I think Minnesota hockey is a super super bright future. Is that common for? Because obviously that's within Minnesota. Like, was that a straight rival poach? Like, we're just taking your guy? It was. Or what was so that leave? It, it, was the, it was an example of, like, the New York Yankees. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. we have more money than you. Yeah, we're just going to We take want him, so we're taking we're him. Take you know what back. I mean? Yeah. It's like, I mean, like, he, I'm sure Motsko wanted to stay at St. Cloud State. Like, they right. play in a bigger arena. They kind of have these, like, little advantages that they could play to. But, like, like I, I just don't get... 
like when when someone when they college hockey, you're not getting paid all the money. Anymore. Yeah, yeah. So I'm sure when it, it's it's a big salary difference when Minnesota right. comes knocking. At your yeah, door. it's like living or living comfortable. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Uh, Grilly, could you just read that score for me? I can't. I can't see. I don't have my glasses on. I don't. I have 20/20 vision. I can't see that score. Could you? I don't know what happened though. I mean. We turned the whole fucking third period off, and now it's just like it's a blowout. So. What is it? Is that say eight for the? Is that the B in red? Oh fuck! Oh, oh that's did he kick save? That was a kick save. That was a kick save. Oh wait! Oh penalty! Shot. We got a penalty shot. We're Come standing. Do it for nine. Do it for nine. Do it for nine. Oh, the stop. The slow. They can make the first move, Conway. Oh, yeah. good save. That's a good save. I respect it. You gotta bury that one home. You gotta give me a little toe drag. Oh, damn, man. I mean, one second well, left. So. So guys, here's the format. This is how it goes. Best of three. Best of three. Single elimination. Best of three. So, oh, is that another penalty? Wait, what? Go. What is that? We'll take it. We'll take it. I mean, it doesn't matter. I BU still wins game one. We'll take it. We're not worried. Wow. BC will be back. Unbelievable. I don't know. I don't even understand how there was enough time. For, for there to be a penalty, there was like one, there was one second, there was a face off, and then some. I, I because the clock doesn't run on a penalty shot. Yeah. No, I understand. I mean, before that, I was shocked that that one second yeah. they were still able to make a penalty happen in that one second. Yeah, it makes sense. Wow. Tough loss. Woo! Tough loss. See, I think. Uh, Let's go, baby. We're gonna we're, we'll be back. I'm not worried about the Eagles. They're the Eagles are a better hockey team. I mean. Better hockey team. There might not be a better online Sometimes team. Sometimes you just have to be the better team today. You know? Sometimes you know what I mean? Be the better gamer. It's like playoffs. Yeah, you just gotta, you just gotta, you gotta groom with Manscaped. I'll tell you what. I hate, you know I what hate what we're doing with BC jerseys here. I mean, they were doomed from the start. Right when they came in, they were doomed. So that game's in an intermission right now. Starting game two. Right now, we're flipping it oh. over. We got. This uh, Denver, I believe right? this is uh, no, this is uh, Minnesota Duluth oh, and Quinnipiac. Yeah. So I'll tell you what. I'm going to give the Quinnipiac Barstool a quick shout-out because I know they're watching right now. They do a damn good job. Anytime you yeah. say we need help promoting, we need this, we need that. I I used to write about college hockey years ago. The second I post a blog, Quinnipiac Barstool Love posts that. it. So shout-out to Q Barstool. I also, that was my dream school. Oh, yeah? Dream school. Piac? Oh, wanted to go there so bad. Nice little campus. <sighs> nice little, they had a lot of fucking area. Up beautiful there people there, yeah. too. It's a beautiful, just... Everyone, yeah. guys, girls, professors. Oh yeah, fuck everyone. One of my best friends was taught. It was a, uh, it was a fun time. Beautiful campus, really good broadcasting school. Like like their production. Well, I wanted to like go there. Very well known. Very well known. Stats twenty three. I love shaving my balls with Manscaped products. Thank you, Stats. Love you. Just wanted to say that. I love Manscaped. We love Manscaped. I love it. It doesn't get any better than that. It really doesn't. So right here we got. No who loves it? Manscaped is the girlfriends. Girlfriends oh. also love Manscaped. Yeah, and the ladies you meet out there in college. Let me tell you, mm -hmm. folks, they know when you use Manscaped. Mm -hmm. They know. Mm -hmm. Trust me. You better get on the wave before it's too late. Wow. Bingo. Nice. Bingo. I don't, I'm not a fan, though, of him having the uh, the hints above. I'll be honest. I I'll think we should out. each pick every game so we're against Ooh, each I'm other down. on every I'm game. Down. So let's pull up the bracket here. I'm down. Yeah, because honestly, I won that BU game. Like, they're going to sweep. It's going to be a 2-0. All right, so we'll easy. go. It's fine. You pick, I pick, you pick. Okay, so Arizona State, Wisco, pick one. I'm going Wisco. For okay. <laughs> I'll take ASU any day of the week. St. Cloud, Minnesota. Wow, we just saw that game. I we think, just saw. Uh, uh, we kind of know what's going to happen. Minnesota, then. I'm going Minnesota. Well, no, I, get, I, oh, get, I pick first. I pick first this time. So I got Minnesota. I got the Gophs. Uh, I got BU in the next one, obviously. And, and then this one. Quinnipiac, Duluth. Duluth won game one. Duluth won game one. So, it's yeah. almost an unfair... You can have Duluth. I'll take QU as my I'll, dream school. Yeah, fuck it. That works well. I'm taking Duluth. Wow, this guy's just baiting him. All right, right now. let's pop to the other side. Uh, UMass, North Dakota. I'll take UMass. I need UMass. That's fine. You like to UMass. North Dakota's is a wagon. Yeah. So, so, all right, Michigan State, Colorado. I'm Where going surprise. I'm going Colorado. They don't have an actual hockey program, and that's why they're going to win. Okay. And... Logan Spence, baby. Yep. Uh, Maine and New Hampshire. Um, I'll take... Uh, fuck, I loved Maine growing up, but I can't... Too many nights at Scorps Basement. I got to go UNH. That's fair. So I'm going Maine there. And then last but not least, I'm taking Penn State over Notre Dame. Okay. Lock it in. Let's throw it over to Kat. She's on the ice right now. 
giving us an update. Give us some updates. I gotta say, if we are basing that Quinnipiac like MZ game off of the stats, the player profiles they sent us, let's go through the weaknesses. Quinnipiac, we have one timer, shopping, has none. The next wing, Gretzky. We asked Minnesota Duluth their weaknesses. We have brunettes with brown eyes. Ooh, baby. Call him out. What's his name? We got Nick Germstad. Full send thick is his username. His profile picture, profile picture, we have him carrying what looks like a mattress, looks like he has a water jug, walking out of what could be a one night stand, looks more like a failed one night stand. Oh. And his fun fact, doesn't surprise me in the slightest, TJ Oshie turned down a picture with him. Probably not the first, probably won't be the last. I'm gonna have to go with Quinnipiac. Minnesota Duluth, you're looking a little brutal here with the girl luck. Also, we got number two. We got Mitch Patton from Minnesota Duluth. His weakness is CPU chicks in the stands. Nothing like girls living rent free while you're supposed to be out there smashing other guys on the ice. Good nice mustache. job, Mitch. Good mustache, though. <laughs> Good stash. Thank you, Cat. Thank you, Cat. Thank you, Cat. What an update. That was great. All right, so we have UMD <laughs> QU here, and uh, I got QU. I'm winning right now. Yeah, right now. So second, we got so we got a lot of time. Team. A lot of time in the game. A lot of time left on the ice. Beautiful people. That's fine. Shot block. I you know. Listen, gotta take off the hints. That's all I'm saying. That always annoyed me when I'm playing because they give you bad hints. So a lot of the chat, hints. the chat keeps referencing. Yep. Keaton, my guy Keaton over here, keeps referencing that Colorado has colleges that play Division One hockey. Yeah. Rudy Junda won a national championship here at Barstool with Denver. Why yep. don't we put them in? And we explained it. We have to represent the ACHA because club hockey is college hockey. So we have to represent the ACHA. That's why we threw Colorado in there. That's it, baby. That's and it. Logan Spence, baby. You got you to gotta give it to Logan. For Logan. He's a pillar at Barstool. Oh, my God. The fact that he, they didn't just score this. This goalie is actually playing out of his mind. I, I said it before. Playing goalie in this game is one of the hardest things to do. It is tough. It's very in, tough. like, any video game, yeah, I would tough. say. Because, like, you have to use the precision movement, and you make one bad move, you're done. Like, easy snipe. This goalie right here is playing out of his mind. I think that's for Piak, so that's good for you, but I'm kind of shocked. Brett, I think Cat's I'm mic uh, was muted there, just to give you a heads up. All right, beautiful. Uh, anywho, back to what I was saying. Uh, Quinnipiac. Uh, you ever visit the school? You went to Fairfield. My best friend What's went that? to Piac. What is it? To is it toads. toads, right? Toads. So Toads is New ha is Yale's. It's literally next to Yale's campus, and it's like the only club in like New Haven that everyone goes to. It is. So how massive. far from Quinnipiac is that? It's like uh, they actually do free shuttles. I think it's like fifteen. -ish? Why did I go to this school? Fifteen thirty minutes. I'll tell you. I'll actually tell you why I didn't go yeah. to the school. About two weeks before I went to Plymouth State, I get an email from Quinnipiac that says, we never received your SAT scores. Oh. I don't think I would have gotten it anyways, to be honest, but. Wow, tough. that sucks. Yeah, tough. it was tough to hear that. Hey, you never know how life works, right? Who knows? Yeah, who but knows? Maybe I'm not sitting here with you right now. That's what I'm saying, really. You don't know. Maybe you're in the, uh, you know, maybe you're in the league. I don't know. Yeah. You know maybe yeah. not. Maybe you're maybe somewhere I'm playing. out of nowhere. Maybe I'm playing pro hockey right oh. now. Oh, we're up. We're up. Bury it. Bury it. Dude, the goalies weak. are playing really well. That was weak. And the penalties. That was weak. I'm shocked. Yeah, it's like 20 minutes. I'll tell you something. It's it's right. It's like it's so weird because Yale's campus is like part of the city, and it is right across the street. Like you just wouldn't expect it. Toads is a good time. Toads is a very good time. But the one thing I'll say, the floor is like originally white, and if you went there now, it is. It looks like uh, oh, asphalt. God, like, it looks like just. I Black remember bar, uh, Barstool Blackouts were going there way yeah. back in the day. Yeah, that was actually when I was at Fairfield, too, but tickets sold out so fast. How old are you? Think about going. I'm 24. Oh, fuck. Jesus, you're, you're a youngin', man. I'm a baby. Those, How old are you? I'm 28, man. Those Barstool Blackout tours way back when yeah. were... Whew. Well, Fairfield was how I found out about Barstool, because in New York, Barstool at the time... Like, we didn't follow it super closely, and then I got to Fairfield, which is, like, New England yeah. maniacs. Yeah. And it was a nightmare because the Patriots won two Super Bowls and were in three during my college. Like, I wanted to kill myself, yeah. you know, for that time. But that's how I found out about Barcelona. All these guys kept talking about Barcelona, Barcelona, Barcelona. And then I started following in, and then they had the Blackout Tour, and then they had all these campus events. It was crazy. It was crazy. Blackout. The Blackout Tours were... 
Some of the craziest nights ever. Oh, yeah. They were fun. Without a doubt. So right now, guys, we're in intermission right now. I believe we're going over to period three. We're going to be flipping through a few games. We're going to be giving you guys a couple updates between the games. Minnesota, BU are both right now up 2-0. BU's holding tight. Wait, BU's up 2-0 right now? 2-1. Two, two, I apologize. BU's up 2-1 right now. Maybe we want to flip over to that game. Yeah, can we go back to BU, BC? Because that's the game that we're going to be... Uh, we got a little bet ski got on. Got a little bet ski on. And I think Wit's smiling right now because BU's looking pretty good. Oh, 3 1. I didn't want to say it. 3 1. Cater. What the fuck, dude? I mean, I guess some guys just can't have it all. You can't look like Cater does and then, you know, be good at video games, too. I'll tell you which one I would take, you know? Mm -hmm. I'd rather be good on the sticks. Nothing like dominating a man in video games. All right, yeah. let's, flip, let's flip it over to Cat here. I think it's a little bit ironic that Keeter is not doing too good right now, considering he uh, got cut from a squirt team, went back next year, and then got cut again, and is the manager for BC's team. So you think he'd have a little extra time on his hands to practice going against a full team of BU guys who actually get on the ice for games. Absolutely put him straight into a body. So the guys on the BU team play for BU? Every single guy on BU plays on BU. And I'm pretty sure we know we got the Wait, starting, what? Goal. Really? starting goalie for BU in net for BU. That's here. sick. It's electric. Oh, we got a penalty. Stand. Oh, oh, oh. Come on. Barry. Oh, what are you doing? Stop it, Barry. Barry. Let's go. You can't stop, you dummy. Oh my god. Emrex has only ever played cello. Can't even stop on the ice, no Zeds. What are we doing, lads? What are we doing? Brunelli, so you're obviously someone who knows hockey, knows hockey strategy. I am the polar opposite. Allegedly, allegedly. Allegedly. But allegedly to me, like, I just know how to score cheese goals, cross creases, rip, like, you know, short side. How much does actually knowing hockey help you in cello, or does it... Kind of really not. Like, you overthink it too much. Nah, like, can you dump and chase in these games? Unfortunately, it doesn't. It doesn't really help you at all. Thank God. Because, uh... Fuck yes. Yeah, like, I, dude, I get pumped by, like, nine-year-olds that have, don't, have never stepped on the ice. Yeah. yeah. You're mean, looking like, at them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're looking at them, bro. It's like, uh... So, all right, time out. We've been... I was rip. We were ripping on Luke Tuck earlier. This dude's going to the league. Like, he's, huh. he's going to play pro hockey. So, I'm, I'm going to take a step back, and Luke Tuck's my guy. I, I, I like Tucker. Uh, I might ask his brother for a little fucking dirt right now, but tough to rip on this kid if he's going to the league. And apparently all these kids are fucking going to the league. Well, at least good enough to play pro hockey. Luke needs to go there just for his hair. That kid's got hair like I've never seen before. He's just a, It's just a helmet. Like, he actually doesn't have to wear a helmet on the ice. Three guys have been drafted on BU. Sheesh, which ones? Uh, we got Drew Comessos drafted to Chicago for goaltending. Cade Weber and Luke Tuck are the same year. They were both drafted together last summer. Matt Brown is actually a transfer. He transferred from UML, so this will be his first season with BU. I think he's a senior or a grad, grad transfer. Yeah, they're actually a very good team on the ice and apparently on the sticks as well. I'll tell you what, this Luke Tuck player. Role model is Reg Dunlop. From Slapshot. Wow. I mean, it's this kid. He, that. he brushes his hair with the pork chop. His mo role model is Reg Dunlap. I mean, drafted to the Habs. Brother of Alex Tuck, Man Rocket. This kid's got it all. So, this kid, so this how kid probably has a great time at T's. He probably <laughs> kills it. How does this guy, uh, so you get drafted and then you stay at college? Like, how does it. Hockey's so hockey? different, man. It's like I know it's like a unique. It's so different yeah, from traditional sports. It's like you don't you don't declare to go to the draft. Like in like in yeah. It's like you get drafted, and you 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 go when you're ready. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's when you're 18, you're eligible to be drafted, and after that, it's like you go when you're ready. That's crazy. Yeah. So it's like it's I like that the best. I wish every uh, I wish every league did that because it's like if if guys don't get drafted, they can go back to school. You know what yeah. I mean? They don't have to declare. Penalty. We're up. We're up. Be you. Barry. Oh, yeah. oh, dude, like I, I think, I think goalies are like four and five on penalties. The Doug Ellis poke oh, there. Oh, my God. we got to bury those boys. Men, come I mean, on. We're, we're, we're trailing here, though. We're, I'm still down here. I'm wearing game time merch every day next week. Fuck you got hats? Anymore. You guys got hats? 
Really? We have left socks and underwear. Oh, well, underwear works. works. Underwear. Yeah. Works. I think underwear works. Left socks actually. Left socks. Yeah. Left socks. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Not right though. Just left. Yeah, so. I don't wear right socks anyways. We'll see, guys. Intermission. That we're going to period three right now. BU's up. I'm about to win my bet. Whitney's smiling. Cat smiling. Everyone's happy besides Grinelli, which honestly kind of makes me happy. So that's good. They're moving on. We're starting period three right now. And, uh, and also, we're looking right now also at the Gophers. Bro, I got, I got the Gophers, baby. I got the Gophers. You got Oh, so it looks like the Gophers. Wow. Are they advancing? I mean, they're 7-2. and two. I think they're, they're going no, no, to the third period. No, no, we have one period. more period. One more period. But, seven, but it, lo seven it looks like the Gophers are going to advance. That's pretty dominant. And, guys, tomorrow we're going to be dropping a whole power rankings, too, because we've been seeing some dominant games just like the Gophers, and then we've been seeing some tight games like BUBC. You know, did B U did B C get a really tough first round matchup? We knew that going in. The chat is telling me, the chat's telling me that B U is up five one. Let's go, baby. That's all. That's all I need to hear. That's all I need to hear. That's beautiful. Kim, sir, how are we? You know they 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 say B U is a safety school. They say you know all these. It doesn't have a campus. But if they and win, these fucking Eagles can't even. I mean, we're down eight two. Oh wait, just the other game. If BU right. wins, that's all that matters. That's all that matters. They can they can be a safety school if they win in the Spit and Chicklets College Gaming Tournament. That is the only thing that matters. I guess you're right. That, I'm just I'm just speaking absolute facts right. at this point. It's like the bean pot. Yeah, that's it. It's like you the bean pot. Bean box. Yeah, let's go, baby. Gosh, and Grinnell, we're gonna be watching Grinelli School around 8 p.m. UMass. That's his. Pick. We got you. I got you, we'll going see. all the way. I think they, we'll they're see. gonna sweep it. And it could work out that BU meets Zoomass right in the championship. Oh, that would be incredible. Can you imagine that one? That would be incredible. Can you imagine that one, huh? Maybe let's flip over to the BU BC game. Catch that last third period right now, as we just saw. Game finish it up here, and here we go. I mean, six though. I mean, we yeah, we just oh, missed another game. I mean, come I mean on. BC, come on, Cater, get it together, buddy. Your dad's one of the top agents in the NHL, and you're embarrassing us. Fucking it, it's another oh, one. I mean, come on. They're just having fun out there. They're just making this look Grinelli, easy. They're, just they're having making fun. it look easy. The boys are playing. Also, this just in. Quinnipiac just forced a game three. So we're going to be tuning into that right Q after you, this baby. game. QU. Right after that, we're going to be flipping over to QU. Maybe we get Cats to give us some updates for the QU boys if they submitted their info. Uh, but it's going to be a blast. So we're going to watch the end of this third period. Unless, I mean, this is... Put it in! We have fucking no Dominic Hassett playing goalie. What the hell? It's Rick no DiPietro on his prime playing for BU here. What are we doing? Wow. Unbelievable. And just like that. What There's a reversal. Goal? What a reversal. This is Who's amazing. playing goalie for BC? Who? Who's playing goalie this for BC? Amazing. This is amazing. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Zach Yorio. What are you doing, buddy? I know it's you. I know you're the problem. You were escorted out of Penalty. Game 3 Penalty of shot. Bruins Islanders. Penalty Get it shot. together. Come on. Come on, Nick Save Beanpot. It. Save it. Yeah! Oh. <laughs> Alright. 8-3. I'm not worried in the slightest. We'll take it. We'll take it. You know, it is what it is. 8-3. You gotta give it... You know, BU knows how to sell a game. BU, so they're just making this more entertaining so people don't leave early. That's all it is. <sighs> That's all it is. Makes sense. So guys, we're gonna be updating you with the scores as they start rolling in as well. We'll be giving you a little bit of a like live look at some of the brackets and all that jazz. I mean the chat's right. Oh beast, you're completely right. The BC goalie's trash. He screwed me. He screwed me straight up. I I, I wanted BC. You know, I believed in them. Cater's hot as shit. His dad's fucking the top agent in the NHL. And, and he's they, hot. Did we mention he's hot? He's hot. And then fucking the goalie just shits the bed here. Oh my god. Oh, whoa, how'd you miss that wraparound? How did they miss that wraparound? Toe drag fail. Nice poke check. Jamming RB. That's how you play Chell. You just keep jamming RB. Nice ho ice. Oh, oh, he's got the moves. Pass it over. All right. Five minutes left in the action. Five goal lead. Yeah, I'm for you, baby. Yeah, it's not, uh, this, I'm gonna be wearing some game. What, and what was your confidence level coming into this? I felt like fairly, right? Like, I didn't hold you at gunpoint. I was born a gambling man. <laughs> 
We love that baby. Oh, no, boy. I just I, I don't know. I just wanted to bet on DC. Is the BC goalie a bender? Or is bender only reserved for non-goalie players? Yeah, I don't even think he can call a goalie bender. Yeah, goalie just sucks. Yeah. He's trying goalie. his best out there. He stinks. But it doesn't matter at the end of the day. If you're not winning in the Spin Chicklets College Gaming Tournament, I mean, what are you, what are you even doing? Two minutes left here. Two-minute warning. I'm being told the QU team is all hockey players as well. Yeah. I, I'm... So the funny thing is, is like obviously they know hockey, they know how to play, and I'm sure they, they just fucking love playing shell. But don't they have to like actually focus on real playing hockey? I was just you know gonna I mean? fucking say that some guys like, just have it all. For me. Some guys just have it all, fuck? you know. It's messed this kid, up. This kid can go out there, put up 20 goals a year, wheel your girlfriend at the bar, and then he'll come back to girlfriend, the fucking. And, and, and then you go back to your fucking room and he'll beat you in NHL. It's terrible. It's like what are we doing here? Some guys just oh. have it all. Oh. You mean the gulag? We'll see about that. But yeah, that's just. I'll tell you what, but these guys course. are sick in the gulag too. There's these guys, these type of kids are just good at everything. Yeah. It's so like, it's just the hand-eye coordination goes through like everything. These are the type of kids where you'd play like pickup football, and they're just like, oh, you can throw the ball seventy yards, perfect <laughs> spiral, and you've never played football before. Oh, yeah. thanks, dude. Yeah, definitely doesn't feel good. I mean, <laughs> we're just having fun in here. Cater, what the I mean, B- fuck, BC, man? they're killing a lot of time, which is, you know, cool and all. Which it'll it'll, cool help, when you're trying to it'll help the possession stats, so it's, which is that's nice. It. That's it. That's game. My friend. I'll be wearing game time merch. If I'm provided with game time merch, I will wear it every day next week. I just We're need to be provided on. with the merchandise. I'll provide it with you, guys. But boy. also, also, if you don't have the merch next week, I will let you push it back. Thank you. I I'll let you that. push We're back. We need some custom ones made. I think, I'll let you push you. back a week. We'll get we'll get size fitted. Get a g- bunch of left sides. It has week. to be done before the yep. end of September, though. Okay, that's fair. So I, I'll I give you. I'm happen. giving you half a month. I, I that can work. We can make that work. We got manscaped in chat, by the way. We, we got the ghosts trying to score on their own goal here. Oh, I mean, this is a bloodbath. An absolute bloodbath. I mean, and shout out to Manscaped. I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. I mean, Minnesota. We Manscaped. Love Manscaped. Well, hair and Manscaped. Body Manscaped.com slash chicklets. 20% off. off. That, I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. 20% off. So I use the lawnmower, and it works wonders. It's unbelievable. There's no doubt in the world that it's the best in the men's grooming i'm telling you guys you gotta get manscaped today it also has an led spotlight and power status yeah. indicator it's amazing. which is with a charge level indicator and bright led yep. spotlight to illuminate hard yep. to see areas it's unbelievable you don't want to miss anything yeah and the battery life is unbelievable on these things they're amazing guys take care of yourselves you're in college you're after college Come on, do the ladies a favor. Manscape it up. The do best yourself a favor. Do yourself a favor. And maybe do the guys a favor, too. Do everyone a favor. Do everyone That's a all. favor. I mean, this was a bloodbath. <laughs> Told you, the Gophers, man. You don't fuck around. Bloodbath. You don't fuck around. Wow. Okay, so QU. So the Gophers are moving on. Wow. So we have... Let, let's give a little update on the uh, on the bracket. Gophers moving on. Yep. Quinnipiac, I believe, is in a game three right now that we're watching right here. We got BU... Is moving on. He's advancing. Yep. We have. Uh, so we have one, two, three. I think that's so, all. Yeah. So on. Minnesota yeah. advancing, BU advancing, and then we have QU and Duluth. We'll check yep, on that. We'll check on that. And then Arizona State, Wisconsin. No clue what's going on there. No clue. Leave that to behind the scenes, people. But we do have Michigan State, Colorado going as well. Yep. So we're gonna be tuning in, flipping around to those, and letting you guys know. I think MSU is spanking them there. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah. I mean, this tournament's fine. Shout out to everyone working behind the scenes. We got a lot of people working behind the scenes. Ben, Bren, Logan, a ton of people. Want to give huge shout outs. Riley. Riley crushing socials right now. Dale. Dale. Memes. Honestly. Appreciate you guys so much. Tell you what. Them, they couldn't run this tournament. Tell you what. Our memes, our guy memes, he was playing in this tournament. He'd run it. Yeah. He's unbelievable at this game. Ooh. I'm telling you, I would, I'm challenging all you guys right now. If memes was playing in this, you let memes put a team together. He would absolutely dominate this what thing. If, what if we got, we need some Xboxes. What if we got BU and memes? Let's get we the just need, a, we need a goalie. Then we just need a goalie. You know and who can play challenge, goalie? Challenge these you know who can play goalie? Avery? Avery Zaretsky. Set. Avery Zaretsky is a great EASHL goalie. That's a money four. Yeah. That's that a money four. Money we challenge four. the winners, then we just destroy them in the name of Manson. Yeah, so we'll, we'll challenge the winners. We'll yeah. just leave it at that. Easily. Easily. And we're, and we're riding on memes. He's back. Well, and you're back. You said you used to be good, right? Oh, yeah. If I picked it up, like, Chell's one of those games 
you can kind of pick up and two you'll be games, nasty. One yeah. or two games and you'll be Yeah, back. You're, you're right back into it. It's kind of like similar to FIFA. And, I mean, that's – I don't want to rip on EA here, but, I mean, that's the gameplay hasn't changed much. It hasn't changed since, like, 12. It yeah. hasn't changed since uh, – who was on the cover? Marty Bordeaux? On the – that's that's the one I was nasty at. Ugh, like 11. I think that was 14 or 12, 13, 14, something like that. I was playing on my 360 in high school with all my buddies. Ripping. Ripping. We're up, we're up, we're up. Oh, <laughs> buried! Okay, oh, I know, that's your team. I, Fuck. I'm almost positive the running total is five to seven. It's like, goalies have saved five of the penalties, and we've only scored two. So, that's I don't think I'm going to win one series right now. Or did I win one? I don't I don't think you won one, I'll be honest with you. Well, Piak. No, I got Duluth. Minnesota. I had Minnesota. Okay. So but, if, if and if Duluth Piak, that's like the one that we're we're trying yeah, to figure got, out. We I just had another Q, goal here. Q U scored. There we go. Wow. We're right back in this thing. There nice we go. Nice new arena in Quinnipiac. Oh, I haven't checked it out. It's nice. I don't. I don't know. I have not checked it out. College hockey is a ton of fun to watch. It it is. It's hockey in general. It's one of those sports, just man. You go watch it. Yeah, you go watch in person. It's yeah. unbelievable. The atmosphere. Everything. We got a little breakaway here. And 3v3s just create so much so opportunity. So many offensive opportunities. It's, it's yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Here comes the comeback. Let's go, Q. Right. You, you hot motherfuckers. Let's go. All right. A little 4 2. We're, we're, we're okay. Again, we're just making it interesting. Duluth's just making it interesting. That's all it is. That's all Old it beast. is. Old beast. Oh, Beast, you want to come play on our ESHL team? We're always welcoming people. That's how the Sonk Daddies worked. We always offer a tryout each time we play. We got the Sonk guy. Daddy's yeah. sorry, ESHL. I, know, I saw that. I like that. I like that name, by the way. Got a nice little following on Twitter. Yeah. 15K. And a couple people. Get that up and run. When is the new Chell probably drops in, what, a month? A couple weeks? October, yeah. Yeah. Mid-October. Be a good time. So I run. Oh, we got to break away. Break away. Bury this. Bury this. Right, left. Yes! Hat trick. <laughs> Let's go. The guy using the tips gets a hat trick. I love it. I love it. My move, right, left, right, boom, every time. Every time. Always works. I always click in the stick and do the up yeah. fake where he lifts the yeah, legs. Yeah, that is like, a good one. That was a big one in, like, 2013. That is a good one. Once we get to the uh, intermission here, we're going to throw it over to Cat. At about two minutes. Goal for QU, baby. Let's go. This is a battle. This, this is a good battle. game. Honestly, I'm just happy that this is a good game. To is, be this, is this This is the third game, right? This, this is game this, three. This, this, is this is game three. What a PX. Hot bastards. God damn it. Come on, Duluth. Show me something. Just lay him out. That's what EHSL is all about. Just laying people out. Oh, pass it up. Let's go. Right, left, oh, right. Oh, right, off. left. Oh, come on. You had to do one more move. Let me ask you. Do you think if I pulled up a map of Minnesota, you could tell me where Minnesota I could tell Duluth, Minnesota? Where Duluth, oh. is, where no, Duluth is. I could barely tell you where Minnesota was. <laughs> the state. Minnesota, Duluth, no shot. Could You, you could? I think I could give you an area. I couldn't even. I couldn't even. Yeah. No idea. To be honest with you. I, don't, you said I barely know. I also spent New York. like two months last year. We almost did a pond hockey tournament in Minnesota, so I spent like two months like uh, scavenging the whole fucking state. Yeah. Finding ponds left and right. So you have a little bit more experience than I yeah. do. I, I am like notoriously bad at geography. Like, oh really? I'm good at geography. Bad. Disgustingly bad. Like it, it was, it was a problem. We used to play that game GeoGuessr, and it was, uh, it was an issue. Let me just put it that way. But man, man yeah, that's a there. fun game, though. Yeah, I love that game. It's a blast. It's also a ton of fun when you don't even know the difference between like Taiwan and I don't know, like Australia. But can we eh, give a quick is. shout out to the chats right now? I, I love the Spit and Chicklets YouTube chat. I got Hockey Freak Thirteen right here, just ripping the chat here. He said poo. He said hey Grinnell. He's just having a good time. In He's the vibing chat. right now. He's it's vibing. Tuesday. He's hanging with the boys. I love that energy. We got love obese that. challenging me left and right. And guys, we are reading the chat. I got the Twitch chat pulled up. You got the YouTube chat pulled up. Throw us a message. Throw us a question. We'll be answering them. Let us know. Well, Edwards, shout out to you for the subscription. Appreciate you guys. The brackets are on Twitter and Instagram, so make sure you check it out there. I saw a question on our side and asked, how did you get to Barstool? Oh, that's an interesting little tale. Yeah. Basically, uh, I used to work in finance, and I, I used to stream starting back in 2016 in my college dorm. This was when Twitch was like 
no one really streams. So yeah. I like kind of hid it from all my friends and everyone like that. I didn't tell anyone. But anyway, I played like so, four So did they just yeah. think you were playing video game? You're just like, oh yeah, I'm just like playing live with the boys. But like they didn't know you're like actually like streaming. My people. roommates and my really close friends, they knew what was going on. But anyone else, I just didn't tell a soul. Because like if you told people that, to be like, wait, people watch you play video yeah. games. Like, Dude, it even took me to last year to be like, yeah. wait, people do this? Yeah, so... Nice save, let's go, That's baby! Save. That's a huge save. Let's go, baby! Oh, we got some action right now, and then we'll get back to the story. Just give me a cross crease. crease. Give me a cross crease. crease. I know he's looking yes, there. Good D. Good D. But get it out. Get it out. Clear it. Get it out. Yes. Oh, that's a breakaway. Oh, fuck off. Right, left, fuck right. Off. Right, left, right. Why are we freezing? Oh, he's lagging. Oh, no! he buried it. <laughs> you lagging son of a bitch. That's bullshit. Yes! That's bullshit and you know it. Oh, that's the stream lagging, not the game though. So that is clean. I don't yeah, trust any of it. I don't trust these scumbags from go, Minnesota Duluth. Let's back go, to back national championships. If you ain't cheap, you ain't oh my Jeez. god, let's fucking go Duluth. Come on to you. Come on, baby. Oh, the boys are playing good defense. The boys are playing hella good defense. I hope the bartenders at Toad serve these guys. Fuck. Extra. Let's go. No, they won't. They're not nice bartenders. Oh, really? Well, no, I mean, there's so many people. You know what I mean? There's just so many people. It's insane. It's insane. Let's throw it over to Cat right now. A little mid-game update. Cat on the ice. I mean, QU is not looking too good. First off, on and off the ice. But first off, they have Christoph Fillion, gamertag, Proud Beauty 13. And he says his strength is always giving 100%. If this is 100%, you're going to need to give 200%. His weakness has none is the next Wayne Gretzky. I don't think Wayne would be playing like this right now, sir. I know you can say the alphabet backwards, but he also says he's six feet on Tinder. We know you're five foot ten in real life. Sorry, Kristoff, it's not looking too hot for you right now. Weakness none. Come on, dude. Mean girls over here. I love it. Come on, dude. You got no weaknesses. Playing chill right now on a Tuesday. Come on. No weaknesses. Come on now. The boys playing good defense. Come on. Nothing worse than a girl just like, just body bag. Just like. Oh, it's the worst. You think about it for the rest of your life. Yeah. For the rest of your life. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's rough. It's rough news out there. Mm, that's how it is. I also think Cat might have just jinxed Quinnipiac. I, I got. I'm a big jinx guy. I believe in like yeah. new karma, that kind of shit. Yeah. I'm okay with that. If Cat knows the power of jinxing, I'm gonna have her strategically talk about all of your picks. Cause I'm. I mean, We're dominating they're... here. We're dominating. Well, possession. Come on, QU. Yeah. <laughs> oh, See, now we got a six-five ball one game. Goal. I knew it was coming. I knew it was wow. coming. One goal. Come on, Grinnell. The salad's looking nice. I agree. Oh, my salad's coming in. Got a haircut. Pav three last week. Wasn't happy with it, but yeah, you win some, you lose some. Here we go. One goal game. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on, Duluth. Please. Please. Do something. Come on. For Minnesota. Do it for Minnesota. Don't do it for yourself. Nice. Good defense. Two minutes left. Right, they just got to play possession here. It's so easy to play possession when you got all these guys in. Oh. Icing warning. Oh, this guy's locked. Yeah, there we go. The cam's locked onto the green guy. That's why. Oh, I hate when they yeah. do that. You oh, got to yeah. switch that. Yeah, you got to. Do it for the broadcast one time. Nice to Oh, come on. Guys, what are we doing? No, Green, you're doing this on purpose, you scumbag. Find out who Green is. This is Gamertag. Karma's going to fucking bite him in the ass, I'm telling you. Yes. Come on. No, nice. no. Oh, nice. uh, penalty? Wait, no. What happened? Can't do that. What was the penalty? You can't do that. Come on. Come on. Come on. Save it. Save it. Save it. Save it. Save come it. on. Oh yeah. my god! Duluth we got a ball game Duluth. now! Look at that mustache! What Free mustache rise at QU tonight! What Let's are go. we doing, Duluth? That's how you come back! Thanks for the jinx, cat! Thanks for the jinx! We still got 30 seconds too! I thought it was like 6-2! Nope! Nope! Alright, come on! Alright, come on! Let's go, Red! Come on, Red! Oh no, guys, what are we doing? No, we got a shot. Okay. Oh, let's go. 
Come on, come on, come on, baby. Fuck come off. on, fuck come on, off. Barry. Fuck right, left, right, call. right, left, right. How are you calling that right? Yes. Now? How are you yes. calling that right? What's the goalie doing? Your goalie didn't move. Your goalie didn't move. Let's go, baby. How are you about to make a penalty shot call in the last thirty seconds? That's a joke. My heart, my heart. Come on, come on, Duluth. Come on. Yep, there's no one there. Come on, come on. Back door, back door. Slagging. Come on. Hold him up, hold him up, hold him up. Lock it up, lock no! it up. No! Yes. No! That's great. That's great. Ten. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. And icing on the cake. Two goals. Two, two goal lead. Most dangerous lead in hockey, right? But with .6 seconds. I don't think that's gonna matter too much. Duluth advances, baby. Let's go. To your, to your two and one right now. I'm two and one. I'm feeling good. I'm gonna two be honest one. with you guys. I'm feeling good. Let's throw it over to Cat. Your little post game update. I, I mean, a yeah, post game update. It was more so just a question. I was just gonna ask Grinelli what size merch he wants. Oh, medium. Sure. Oh, no. Yeah. Hey, new game time logo looks fantastic. Yeah. Looks Appreciate great. That. So I'll look good in it and I'll wrap it proudly. I love that. I mean, that's the best advertising we can get. A guy like Grinelli, look at the hair. I mean, the flow, the lettuce, the lechuga. It's beautiful, baby. Appreciate it's beautiful. That. So we're gonna be rocking and rolling. So that pretty much wraps up your round, your your, your left side of the bracket, or the, you know, the games we saw early on. To give you guys an update, we had winning was Minnesota, BU, Duluth pulled through. We also have an update here, Grinelli. Ohio State is in for Notre Dame. Oh, wait. UMass is staying in, and Ohio State is going to be playing for Notre Dame. Some issues came up with Notre Dame. Ohio State is in for them. UMass is playing North Dakota. You're still rocking with them? You should feel good about that? I mean, let's... We have some inside info. I don't know if I'm supposed to say this or not, but I've been told that some of the players on the UMass team are receiving national championship rings right now. Interesting. They may be a little late for their stream. They may be. I don't know. They could be they could be here in time, but if they are, it's cuz they were getting a national championship ring because you know why? They won the national championship last year. So so you really so you think the momentum from real hockey last season is going to carry over into into the into the EHSS I'll e -A -S -H -L. tell you what. SHHL. I'll tell you what. I hope we have some UMass people watching right now because they'll appreciate this. What? I've been to Southwest. I've been to the, the townhouses. I've been to Puffton. I know momentum can carry. I, I've been to the Hobart Hoedown. I know momentum can carry, and I know if any school in the country can carry momentum a year later... <laughs> The UMass Minutemen, so I'm not worried at all. I'm you, ready to go. And, you want and to, best dining hall yeah. in the country. Really? Yeah, best dining hall in the country. The food is actually Do they take fifth years? Unbelievable. You could do a fifth year there. You could definitely do a fifth year. I think all my friends did five yeah. years there. Maybe do a six, like we'll, we'll see. <laughs> I think all my friends might have done six. <laughs> and the great part is so honestly, even though even though the real win that they had when they actually got the rings, well, when they won the rings was a year ago. But today them actually getting the rings, they are gonna have fresh new life. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. once that ring is on your finger, I mean, they got to be feeling the momentum. So that is a dangerous, I mean, dangerous team. Just, like, imagine being at a giant state school like yeah. UMass Amherst and getting, like, a national champion. I would wear that thing. Yeah. Every, every group project. Yeah. Oh, Oh, sorry, sorry. Sorry. Did, did you do your side of the project? Oh no, sorry. It was my my ring was glistening in my eye too much. I couldn't look at my laptop. <laughs> like, what? A, that'd uh, be unbelievable. I would abuse that power. Yeah, I would. Too. Oh, abuse. It'd be terrible. Yeah, it it'd would be too. bad. It'd be bad. We got a guy in chat right now. UMass reindeer. This guy on Twitter's hilarious. He just wears a reindeer costume to all the UMass sporting events. Mm -hmm. Like a full body suit reindeer. He's hilarious. So that's that's your guy right there. You asked for the UMass boys are they standing yeah, up. Yeah, I see he, he, he showing says, up. Shout out Hobart, shout out Spoke. I, I, I fuck with this guy. Yeah, he's a character. Yeah. Stay, reindeer, I, I had that. a buddy lived at Hobart, lived in Puffton, lived in Southwest. We've been all over the place. We're gonna flip it over to Cat right now. Give us a little update. Some intel with UMass when they were on the come up, new mass was trending. I was there. 
for their first sold out game in years. It was UMass BU. Their coach was outside two hours before the game handing out pizza to get students to go. I wanted to go get pizza. I couldn't get pizza. It was fine. But that was the most electric environment I've been in in a long time in arena. So if BU couldn't win that year, if BU couldn't win the next year, if BU couldn't win this last year, I'm glad UMass won this past year. Good for these guys, honestly. I think everyone... Massachusetts, they don't... Like, if, you're, if you go to BC, you hate BU. Yeah. You know, like, if you go to... Like, there's all these rivalries. No one really hates UMass. Everyone, like, everyone had a buddy that went there. Everyone's gone and yeah. visited, partied there. You always have a great time. Yeah. Like, there's just no faults yeah. with UMass. And they... Outside of hockey, they stink at sports. Yeah, so no, I was gonna like, say their football team is known for being god. Their, their football team might be like the worst Division One yeah. football team in the past like ten years. Yeah, and that's why in NCAA fourteen, it was like the hardest challenge in the world to use them in dynasty mode. So who do we have here, Bren? Who is UNH and Maine? UNH, UNH and Maine. 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 So you, you took Maine, I believe. Oh, you took I UNH. Took UNH. I took UNH. Too many nights in Scorp basement. Um, great school, UNH. Great time. Had a lot of fun at that school. But I'll tell you what, I think we can both agree, pretty frustrating they didn't do the jerseys. Pretty frustrating. But that that's clean jerseys. Those are clean. But yeah, honestly, I have no, I have no I idea who's who. I don't know who's who. But I'm going to be brutally honest with you guys. Uh, we got Pogies, who just scored a goal. But yeah, that is the one thing. Like, you know, Michigan State was really easy to see. Yeah. BC, at least they went with the initials, right? Or And then we got another goal. So we got a 4-2 game. We don't know who's winning this, to be honest with you. Would have liked them to go a little bit with the colors. That's life. These are college kids. They're vibing. Honestly, it might be a little more dangerous that they don't have the right uniforms and colors because they probably just game this. They probably just ripped this. Oh, right? yeah. They must, you know what I mean? they must play all the time. They didn't create this team today. Yeah, that's what this I'm saying. This team has been long, long playing in the AS. A lot of chemistry. A lot of chemistry. So we're going to see here. Where you are you know, going? Something we didn't mention. A uh, bit of a cash prize here. Ooh, let's bit talk about it. Prize. Let's talk about bit it. Bit of a cash prize. So we did the Chicklets Cup a year ago. I got a lot of complaints. No cash prize. Why isn't there a cash prize? My big thing here was we need a cash prize. So yep. we have $2,000 cash oh, baby. going to the winners. And then we also have a $1,000 gift card to the Barstool store. They can buy all that Barstool Game Time merch. It's crazy. But, dude, let me say this. Imagine you and three, four of your buddies getting two thousand dollars in college. That's that's through. like like a hundred k for playing NHL. Yeah, for for playing a video game with your boys on a Tuesday and Wednesday night and representing your school. And I'd say like New York, me living in the city now, like thinking about how much everything costs. You're like, oh, I'd spend that in one night. But dude, drinks at college are like two dollars, three dollars, yeah. one dollar, like. The two two grand's gonna last these kids a yeah. couple weeks. Oh, easily. I think yeah. they can stretch they, it out to a couple. They yeah. can stretch it out to a month for yeah. sure with the boys, and then you get the merch on top of that. I, I'm actually really jealous. I, I want to see an here. NIL deal come out of this. Yeah, cool that honestly. would be fire. All of a sudden, the NHL is uh the the pro hockey is just signing people with this with the video game. That would be something. But that's massive. Three thousand dollars in total prizes, and it's winner takes all. Winner takes all. Okay, guys, no second place is here. You know, if you're playing in it, we're happy that everyone joined here. But if you want to win the cash prize and you want to win the merch bonus as well, we got a penalty here. Stand. Mick Wink buries. Right, left, right. Oh, buries it home. That's Penn State. So Penn State, I believe, just scored that one. Okay, so you're, you got Penn State, so yeah. I inevitably had to take Ohio State. Ohio State's up 4 1, though. Not a fan. I'm a Michigan guy. I'm a yeah. Michigan fan, so I don't. I'm not. I'm not huge into liking Ohio State. I do like Ohio State's jerseys are almost exactly what the team wears. Yeah, that's they got nice. the gray buckets. The socks are identical. They got the gloves matching. I like it. And, they, and they're looking good right now too. Like we just flipped this on four goals in one period. It's pretty good sign, especially when Penn State's only goal came from. Uh, there's five one. Wow, Ohio State. They're taking out their football frustrations right here and right now. Didn't go their way this weekend. Eh, maybe a little bit overrated, Ohio State, but not here tonight on the ice. I mean, they're the laughing one. stock of college football right now. Oh, yeah. That's right. Well, yeah. But also, Texas, 
right? Didn't te- Texas lost yeah. to Arkansas? Yeah, but Texas stinks. You expect Texas to stink. I mean, you but think Ohio just, State's going to the fucking but they championship just win every the year. SEC, so they thought they were yeah. like the fucking big deal. You know what I mean? They lost to Arkansas. Yeah, it's tough. That's a. Mm. I always get a little confused pronouncing Arkansas. I'll be honest with you, because like eh, you look at you want to say Arkansas, Arkansas. They're like, nah, fuck it, it's Arkansas. Let's flip it over to Cat. Where's this? Right Who's actually at Ohio State this weekend? I was at Ohio State this weekend. It took years off my life, and here is exactly why OSU is going to win this game. The four guys playing for Ohio State weren't out with me this weekend. Met the whole team except for them. They were in practicing for the tournament. That's dedication. They're gonna sweep. It's going to be an OSU BU final. You heard it here first. Cat, I wish you Cat, you went to BU. You went to you 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 go to OSU now to visit. I don't know. I'm not buying it. I wish Cat told me that before I picked. Yep. Penn State. She's jinxing you. Is what she's doing. She said you could have BU, Matt, but you're not going to get Ohio State. mm mm-hmm. Mhm. I respect it. So that's Cat's pick, BU, OSU. I'd be happy with BU in the finals. I wouldn't be complaining about that. i got to be 100% honest with you, Ambrags. Didn't know your name was Matt. Oh. Didn't know yeah. your name was Matt. That always, comes up often. Always just knew you as Ambrags. Wow. Never even thought to ask. I didn't even, did my name just get called? You just, you said your name. Oh, you know, wow. Say, I called myself Matt. Look at Matt. that. Instinctively. Yeah. That happens often here. A couple of my, my, my buddies see Glenny when they're out. And uh, they say, yo, do you know Matt? Do you know Matt? And he's like, I don't know who the fuck Matt is. He's like, the guy who wears the headband. He's like, oh, yeah, M-Rags. So, yeah, it's kind of it's funny. M-Rags is a pretty sick nickname. And it's just my name. It's just, you know, Matt Ragone. Short and M-Rags. I know, but it yeah, flows it's, well. It works it flows, well. It flows. It flows. Yeah, it looks good. It's nice. ASU goal. All right, so this is ASU Wisco. I got ASU. I had Wisco. Sun Devils live and die by the Sun Devils. Funny story. We got a funny story about the Sun Devils. I'm here. So, I went to... Uh, we were in Arizona for like three weeks yep. uh, during this past season. Biz lives out there. Had to drive uh, uh, wit to the airport. Anyone knows? You had to see that. Uh, you pass ASU on the way to the uh, Scottsdale Airport, yep. or the Phoenix Airport. So on the way, the whole way there, wit's like, dude, ASU is so sick. It's such a sick school. So I'm like, you know what? On the way back, I'm just gonna go check it out. I'm gonna go drive around campus, just check out this place. So I'm driving around, and I'm like, you know what? That football stadium looks it looks pretty cool. Yeah. Like, I, I'd love to go check that out. So I park the car, get out, go walk up. What ha- And I have a video of all this to prove this. There's a door. There's like a little a little gate that's like there's chains, but they're like very loose. Where you yeah, can you can slip, slip in. Slip, slip right and under. Slender Man, like you can slip right through. So I slip right under. I walk right in, walk right down to the field. I'm like, this is the <laughs> best fucking... I'm sending Snapchats to all my boys. I'm like, I'm on the field. Oh, it's it's sick. Sick. This is sick. Next thing you know, security. I was going to say, like, DPI, yeah. yeah. They got Public. me quick. But <laughs> ASU, it's a sick stadium there, man. Yeah, it seems beautiful. I know it's such. A, it seems like such a fun school to go to as well. God, both of these schools, ASU and West Coast. Yeah. But it's, was, was, it's just disappointing with West Coast jerseys. It's like they went with the stock ones. but yeah. And also mad they got the NHL. They didn't even change the logo. You know, yeah. it's like, and big. I, I went with Wisco for Big Cat. He said we can't win a real, like, a real. That's a big one. That's, that's a big. That's goal. a big goal. That's a big goal. That is a huge goal right there. He said we can't win a real live sporting event, so we have to win these ones. And I and I just felt that Wisco had a chance. Now it's only one one. Don't get me wrong. But like, oh, we got Addison Ray. Like, we got to change up the names here a little bit. Like, Looks you know, fantastic I like that. at the Met Gala. Not sure if you saw. There was so much at the Met Gala. Oh. I couldn't keep up. New hairdo, red dress. <laughs> Addison Ray. She's give like me, 19. Give me a call. Isn't that crazy? Me, is she really? Yeah, she was supposed to go to LCU, right? Yeah, whatever. 20? 22? Give, give me a call. I thought she was supposed to be a freshman this year. Mm-hmm. Addison Ray went to LSU. Oh, she yep, went she there. She went to LSU, tried out for the dance team at LSU. Didn't make the dance team at LSU. Let's, so let's, look at that. You're like, what if I not, went to Quinnipiac? Let's not slander our queen of TikTok's name right now, because I'm an L- oh, I'm, I'm a, a fan. I'm an Addy Ray stan. I'm a fan. Yeah. I watched the movie. Did you watch the movie on Netflix? So bad. Oh, come on. I watch. I watched the first thirty minutes with my girlfriend. Sick flex. That's right. The gamer. The gamer has a girlfriend. Who would have thought? Congrats on the Thanks, sex. dude. Thank you. Bro. Hey, Appreciate you know why that. you have a girlfriend? Because of Manscaped, baby. Manscaped. Thank you, Manscaped. Man- Manscaped.com slash chicklets 20% off. You want a girlfriend? You get Manscaped. That's how Emrag's got his. If the gamer, if the gamer 
can get the girlfriend. Anyone can with Manscaped. Twenty percent off Manscaped.com. Crop shit. exfoliator. Imagine that crop exfoliator. Yeah. Gentle Beautiful. exfoliant for the groin, groin area. And what more do you want? What more do you want? We got a one-one matchup right here. This is actually game. a good game. Yeah. I'll be honest though. I kind of like when they're kind of like slugging it right now. This honestly feels like a kind of a slow pace. Yeah, it does. Game. I want hockey, more goals. Right? I like more goals. But also, like, look at the movement. Look at the controls. Like these guys, you know, they're, they're playing ultra got conservative a penalty penalties. Here. Let's go, Daddy. Let's go. Is Addy? It's Addison Ray. Come on. Save it. Come on. Come on. Save it. Come on. Save come it. On. Come on. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Addison Ray, we're going to the Met Gala, baby! Woo! That's not good. That's not Wisconsin. Badgers. That's not good. We're going to Old Town tonight, boys! Wow. That's a shame. I'll be honest with you, that's a shame. What are you going to do? You ever been out to Scottsdale? I have not. I have not. I'll tell you, tell Old you Town, time. Scottsdale. <gasps> what? Is top. What the hell was that? Wait, that's a goal? What the hell was that? Wait, that's a goal? Old Town Scottsdale, baby! Let's go! What? Bro, what just happened? We'll take it, baby. Let's keep racking them up. Wait, Wisconsin, what was that? Do not send that to Big Cat. Do not tweet that clip to Big Cat. That was just... Thank God they're not Brandon Wisconsin in this game. That could have been a problem. That's painful. Oh, no, I got another penalty. There's just so many penalties. Like, what's Too many happening? penalty shots. Buried home. Buried home. Buried home. What are we doing? That's a That was the worst. That's Guys, right, left, right, right, left, fake the shot, dip it over, boom. It's come on. Addison Ray would be embarrassed. Oh, man. That's Ooh, painful. Norm McDonald. R.I.P. 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 Big shout out to him. Yeah. I got to watch that moth joke. Yeah, everyone's been talking about yeah. it. I feel like it's one of those ones I've seen and I know once I see the skit. Yeah, Holy you, def you that. definitely will. I want to check that out. Yeah, that was a wild one. Oh. Where is Michigan State at? Someone just put that in the chat. It's uh, e is it East Lansing? Yeah, East Lansing. East oh, I Lansing. think they're asking. They might be asking where the stream is. Oh at. yeah, yeah, it's yeah. But East East Lansing, and here you go, MSU baby. They got the green. They're facing Colorado. Looks CEO. like Colorado's changed up their jerseys. They got more bolder in style, yeah. style jerseys now. Yeah, they do. That's interesting. I like the we got the we got the CU and we got the MSU. It's so nice. Who am I on that one? Are you MSU or am I Colorado? I have no clue. Oh, I took Colorado because I said they don't yes, have a, they don't have a yes, real program, so they're gonna win it all. They might just fuck around and win it all. Like we'll, we'll see here. But, so MSU guys, yep, just I talked about it. They're right there. Well, let's see, man. Where's North Dakota stream? North Dakota is facing it. Zoomass. That's going to be starting shortly, guys. Uh, ever heard of a ring? UMass won the championship last year in, in, in the actual college hockey. College hockey. Yeah, so we, getting need, a we need to hit right one now. of these UMass kids up and tell them to send us over a pick of the ring. Yeah, 100%. Tweet us at us. Tweet it at us. Instagram it at us. We want to see these bad boys. Honestly, TikTok it at us at yeah, this I'll point. TikTok it. We'll dance with that. I'll do edit. I'll do edit. Also, we got so we've all seen that TikTok of the Florida State University player. You saw the football player, and now they're zero two. Yeah. What is that? How do how do you play Division One football at Florida State University and go? I'm gonna post this TikTok of me dancing like that. Oh, I thought Beautiful. we were. I thought we were talking about the Florida State tick uh, guy who. Proposed after they on oh, the field after they lost to Jacksonville State. True love knows no boundaries, and that shows it because he lost a crushing game, and he was just like, "Fuck it, I'm gonna propose." That because maybe it was the lowest point of his life. He's like, "I gotta fix this right now." I that know? was definitely one of those things where he had the ring on the sideline, and he's like, he at, at two or three minutes left, he's like, "I'm doing it." It's in his head. He knew what he was gonna yeah. say, and then at that point, he's like, "I can't let do it." Yeah, I mean, it was just bad though. It was just not a good look. So we're gonna see. We're gonna flip it over to Cat here to give her thoughts on that proposal. Cat, I mean, if that happens to you, you know, you just, I'm gonna let you go here. I've said it since the dawn of time. If I get proposed to at a sporting event, the answer is no. I'm just gonna walk away and pretend I didn't see him kneeling. I thought he was tying his shoe, turning around, walking away with the girls. I mean, that was just brutal. The, the other team was celebrating in the background, but 
let's get to know our Michigan State team. I got a little bit of an inside scoop on Mr. Jagger Joshua here. So we got an older brother who is playing in the NHL. So we got him living his brother's dream right now. His strength, he loves a good time. His weakness is also that he loves a good time. And his fun fact is that he has no idea how to play goalie. So for someone who has no idea how to play goalie, he's doing a pretty good job right now, looking at what his brother does, trying to emulate it. But I mean, come on, Jack. You gotta, you gotta be able to be a little confident in yourself here. Yeah, only for two I have it. A little video game action. That's really it. But that's life. A little wardrobe change. Wardrobe change. So uh, you look good. You didn't have to stunt on me like that, bro. Is this not one of the cleanest hockey That's jerseys cool. you've ever seen? And I'm not a Bama guy. Shimmy there. I'm not a but Bama guy. I mean, this is this is about as clean as it gets. Look at this. Look at, look at that. that Bama jersey. This is just the jersey of winners. I'll t the ACHA uh, wow. Alabama hockey team sent this to me a few years back. 93 years. Born Grinnell in the back. Unreal shirts and uh, unreal jerseys and. Uh, it's an unreal program. I yeah. think I think it's only a matter of time before they're uh, a Division One program. Yeah. So I like to represent the ACHA teams as much as I possibly can. I got a few more jerseys they'll break out, but uh, fuck yeah. ACHA is college hockey, baby. These kids rip it. I normally never say this because I hate Alabama. Roll Tide. Roll just tide. just to get a D one program. Honestly, Roll I fuck with Tide. That. So, I mean, so is that like their club? Like they're a club program, right? Like so. Yeah, has, so so club club hockey is a very very interesting thing because it's, it's like not. Club, and I, I, yeah, right? I'd love to. Exp it's cr it's actually very crazy because a lot of guys who play Division one club hockey could either go play Division one hockey. Or they could go play Division Two, Division yeah. Three hockey. They're actually using Division Two, but they could go play Division Three hockey. So, it's it's very serious, but it's also you don't have. There's no drug testing. There's no things. You're not practicing seven days yeah. a week. There's there's just little things that like, you know, it's it's people enjoy it more. It's less of a responsibility. Yeah. Right. But down in Alabama, these guys. And I remember when my brother was looking at schools to go play, and I'd always say, go look at Alabama and go play club because this is like a legitimate D1 program. You look at their locker room, you look at their facilities, you look at, dude, these guys do like uh, autographs, like uh, yeah. like uh, meet and greets. Oh, wow. Like, I, I know Division One teams that can't even like fill, get 55 people in their arena. Yeah, right. And the Alabama has meet and greets where That's they have impressive. lines of people down That's the impressive. street to meet them. So it's... I think it's only a matter of time before Alabama goes, uh, becomes a D1 program. And uh, you're kind of seeing it now with Alabama Huntsville. They have uh, Alabama Huntsville down there. So there's definitely a love for hockey down there. I like it, honestly. And the more you can just grow the game, the better. And like I said, like Fairfield took their club hockey very seriously. Yeah, but it's it very, very serious. It was very serious, but they also like had a great time and they were like yeah. a ton of fun to be yeah, around. Yeah, but they didn't yeah. they didn't party. Like they didn't, I'm sorry, practice like seven days a week. But when they were on, they were on. Yeah. Like, everyone went home for spring break. They had uh, they had like their finals and the yeah. nationals going on. It was it was yeah. crazy. So shout out to the, honestly club hockey grinders. Hey, and I say this. Uh, so there's a there's a big divide, right? Obviously with um, you know amateur hockey. Yeah. Right. You have juniors in Canada. You have professional over in uh, Europe, and then you have the NCAA. Yeah. What the N what hockey as a whole needs, and what the NCAA needs, especially in NCAA hockey, is schools like Alabama, schools like USC, Oregon, yeah. UCLA, you know, Ole Miss, like Florida, Auburn, yeah. these big Southern, you know, right. schools that have so much pride in their school. Yeah, they need these schools to start being the Division One hockey schools. Yeah. And you saw that when they created the Big Ten a few years back with. With Michigan, Michigan State, right. Penn State, Notre Dame, yep. like Penn State's an uh, it's a new program. Yeah, you know what I mean. And Arizona State, it's a new program. But you're seeing, I mean, as a kid, if you're you're a high school senior. Oh, that's a high school. Michigan State five zip. How you doing? But if you're a high school senior and you get the op opportunity to go on a re recruiting trip to the big house for Michigan yeah. to watch a college football game, or to go to Minnesota Duluth, like yeah. what are we doing here? Yeah. I agree. St. Cloud State? What are we doing? Uh, yeah, I agree with you. And that, that was always one thing that was interesting about hockey. Because, like, basketball, football, and even, you know, baseball in the NCAA, they're always, they're always schools that you expect to be there. Because mm -hmm. they have so much brand record, like, mm -hmm. recognition, recognability. Like, they have the money. The schools have the most money. Yeah, exactly. And and you expect Hockey's those dogs. And then you're hockey, and you're like, I'm like, 
like, yeah, it's a top school. Like, Minnesota? Like, ba- B-U-B-C? St. Cloud B-U-B-C? State? And I'm like, that's, you know, and obviously BUBC are kind of the exceptions there. We're like, there's these massive schools, huge brand names. But, like, usually for sports, they're not the top dogs. So that'll be interesting to see, like, some of these other big schools, like, coming around. And, and honestly, like, we'll see. But right now here, guys, we got UND. Who's this game we got going on? We got Dwight Schrute, though, which I love. Shout out to that. So I just got a text message, and we fucked up. Yeah. We fucked up pretty bad in that we have a barstool athlete. We have one bar. Well, we have two barstool athletes. Yeah. Spit and chicklets. One nice. is Johnny Walker. Plays in, plays. He's the captain of the Arizona State hockey nice. team. Some miscommunication. He was supposed to play on the ASU team. We fucked that up. He didn't end up playing. But he just texted me. His text message was, "Louis is the best EHL player in the tournament." Interesting. So. I mean, John. I, I would I would put my life in Johnny Walker's hands. Yeah. I don't think he'd he's steer not fucking me, around. I don't think he'd steer me in the wrong direction there. Wow, that's ASU. So that's ASU. Is that that's not their goalie, right? That's probably like one of their attackers or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. Okay, so we're gonna keep an eye on Louis. We'll we're keep gonna keep an eye, eye on, on Louis. Louis. Johnny Walker's not gonna fucking lie to us. I'll Johnny be Walker with you there. never. We'll check that out for sure. That's gonna be an interesting one. We got that. We got a zoomed out camera angle here, which I'm kind of a fan of. Another penalty shot. Come on, baby. Come on, Dwight Schrute. I don't even know who I'm rooting for here. I don't know the teams. I got Michigan. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Holy pog. ABC is UMass. Oh, oh this is UMass. This is, so this is ABC UMass. ABC is UMass. North Dakota. Oh, okay, so we got a ring. Oh, we got a ring. look at that, baby. We got a ring. Put it on the other side, put it on the right side. Nice. Look at that. That's clean. That's good. And I'm not a ring guy. I'd wear that every fucking day. I always said I think if I won a championship ring, I'd put it on a necklace. And yeah, wear, that's wear clean. Like I think that's ice. a lot cleaner. I agree with you, too. Wow, that is beautiful. All right, so guys, ABC. Oh, this is this is like your top dog. So I took a risk by going BU because I knew that BU VC no game was going to be a dog fight. Dude. And it was. I'm not this, worried. They, they just won the national championship. They got, they got their rings. They, you ever tried to play Xbox with a fat ring on your finger? No, I'm smarter than that, though. But I I, that would require me to win a championship. I don't championship. know if these guys are. That would require me to win a championship. This is... Okay, you're, you're giving up two goals to Dwight Schrute. Question. Is there... What is the championship in gaming that could provide you with a ring like such? Call of Duty has one. Mm-hmm. COD Champs. So we just flew out to LA, covered that event. Call of Duty, you actually get a ring. Like a real fat ring. Yeah, like that one. Yeah, right? yeah like that one. So Call of Duty has one. I don't know about any other ones that do ranks because, like... How do you get to play in that? Why weren't you playing in it? Well, no, so you have to be, like, a professional... Call- so, Call of Duty competitive is separate than Warzone. It's, like, Search and Destroy, Hardpoint, which is King of the Hill. It's a lot different. And the players who have been pros there, they scrim, like, 14 hours a day. I could never have a job and be a professional. Yeah, I heard it's be crazy. There. Yeah, there's no way. Um, but, so, that's that's how you kind of get into that. And those are teams, so it's, it's 4v4. And you play this like competitive Call of Duty style, which is separate from Warzone. Everyone loves Warzone, right? So that's kind of how you do it there. I would love to see Warzone throw something like that, but competitive Warzone is not the best. Not Why the is best. that? Just battle royales are not meant for competitive because there's so much randomness. Yeah, like, if yeah. If you drop in that. and I get a shotgun and you get an automatic weapon, you're probably going to kill me. Well, I'll tell you what. What randomness. So the... Uh, so I got into uh, Call of Duty Open Pit. Yeah. Like, new gamer. Was just trying to play with some, like, NHL guys. Just, like, just to, like, get the chicklets crazy yeah. out there. So I played with Robert Thomas. Yep. Who is, you, do you know Tomer? Yeah, yeah, I know the name. He's incredible. Yeah. He, he's unbelievable. I played so with Adam funny. Godet. Adam Godet. That's my boy. So you know Godet. That's my boy. And then, um... And then this kid, Daddy Padre, who's he's like a oh, pop. I know the name. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's, he's a great NHL streamer. Yeah. He's the be- like one of the probably the best NHL streamer out yeah. there. And uh, so it's probably my I think it was my second time ever playing Warzone. Yeah, and we won. <laughs> we won. Oh, that's awesome. And what they the were fuck? like, and I remember uh, Daddy Padre was like, I don't think you realize how crazy this is, man. It's like your second time. Playing. You probably thought it was so easy. You're like, yeah, why is everyone freaking out? Well, about I don't him? think I've won since. <laughs> so I was like, I was like, this is fucking easy, boys. Like. <laughs> I'm just like hiding the whole time. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious! You ever want another win? You bang my line, and we'll get a, we'll get another dub. Adam G. So I played a lot with Gaudet. He is a hardcore gamer. Yeah, yeah. He oh, he's a beast. Yeah, he is. I love playing great, with him. He's a good hockey player yeah, too. So great guy. He uh, one of those great hair. Oh, one of those guys. So you're like some guys just fucking have it all. 
Yeah, I get pissed at him all the time. I was texting him this weekend. We were talking about the Call of Duty Vanguard, the new Call of Duty coming out. He just loves gaming. The guy yeah, loves ripping it. I know. And he's going to be one of those guys where, man, like, fuck, he could just, like, he could probably just say, you know what, I don't want to play hockey anymore. I want to be a gamer. And he oh, could probably 100%. do it. Like, 100%. he could do it. Yeah, 100%, which is actually, like, kind of funny. I love that. Yeah, it's like it's like Adam. Like you're a professional chell player. You gotta you gotta also like. Why do you have to ki- get ah. more kills than me in Warzone? That's a- ah! let's go, baby. North Dakota. I can barely point out North Dakota on a map. Uh, I I know let's North go. Dakota because I know South Dakota. It's they're just North I know Dakota, I know North Dakota, and it's Dakota. right near Minnesota. Like that's what I kind of know. So it's like you know, they're all kind of relative here. OSU. This is a closer game. I'm sure OSU absolutely spanked them in game one, though, right? Because that was like 5-1 in the this first. This is OSU-Penn State, right? Yeah. I mean, OSU is just... I'm happy. I guess I'm happy with o- OSU for two reasons. One, because they look... I'd say they look like the best team in the tournament. Yeah, they look They're dominant. They're just fucking yeah. dominating, and the jerseys look great. Yeah. The jerseys look great. The whole brand... Like, that's what... I love when they take it that yep. step further, and yep. they're like, fuck it, we're repping our school, like, we're matching up the uniforms. And did, That's clean. Kat, did you say they were practicing? OSU was practicing, or who did you say was practicing? I have to say, Saturday night, when I was in Columbus, I met the entire OSU hockey team, except for the four guys playing in this tournament right now. So, I have to say, I know they were practicing for this tournament. I mean, they look they look better than any team out here. Without a doubt. Question for you. If... Ohio State won, would those kids have went out? If they won the football game? If Ohio State won the football game, would they still have been practicing? Emrags, I have an answer for you. They didn't win, and they went out to the break of dawn. So, win or lose, they still lose. And you know what? It's good that they still celebrated because it means football doesn't define the school. This hockey team is going to define the school this year. And this is probably the most important championship in school history. And I think they understand that that's on the line. So I credit to these kids for really taking this seriously. We got, I think it's Dr. Uh, McWinkberries, which is just a phenomenal name. Very similar to Riley's the Dinkleberry's name. Shout out Riley. Crushing socials right now. We'll see. OSU is looking down. I mean, they're just crushing the possession. The rotation's looking good. I like it. And you can tell Ohio Cycling, State's good. Pox, they don't Pox all deep. crash. That's like when you're, you know, I'm obviously you know this because of real hockey, but even when people don't know how can they play chill, everyone just like huddles together. But these guys are actually rotating. They're cycling. They got that it's chemistry. Nice. They're past. They know what they're doing. They they played together one or two times before. Oh yeah. Oh, oh nice oh, hit there. Oh, oh, fuck. It never gets old, huh? Never, a big hit, oh, whether it's a video game, real life, it, just, it never gets old. And one of my favorite things, sometimes, I don't know if it's still in this game, when you could when you hit someone on the glass and it breaks the glass. Oh, my I don't know if that is still a thing, but oh, I love it. Showing that. my age there a little bit, but. Man, and Marty Lou Cheech did that. Fuck, oh, that's that. unreal. Kind of scary. Like in real life, it's kind of scary when you see that. Like, you're like, oh, you just broke a fucking glass with a human body. Oh, yeah. But some of these hit you see are nasty. Yeah. Nasty. This is a real tournament. This is the Spittin' Chicklets College Gaming Tournament. Presented by Manscaped. Presented by Manscaped. The best in men's grooming. We got 16 colleges and universities across the nation representing their schools. It's 3v3 hockey. It's best of uh, best of three format, single elimination. We got round one going and round two going on tonight. Semifinals and finals going on tomorrow. And tomorrow we will be casting both semifinal matchups. So it's going to go semifinal matchup one, semifinal two, and then the finals to crown your champion. And who's going to win three thousand dollars in college? That's almost that's borderline being a millionaire. Three grand. I would have killed someone, I think, for two thousand dollars. Hundred percent. Hundred. We killed someone for like a hundred. Yeah. You know. Yep. Absolutely. Oh, Barry at home. Penn State. I'm not worried. I'm, I'm actually life. not. I'm not worried. I think Ohio State's the best team. I think Penn State only scores goals on penalties, so we need more penalties. Like I, we gotta pay the, we gotta pay the refs off a little bit more, like a little, little bit. You more. need Whitney throwing that BU money around like they had against BC. Oh, that's a, that should have been. That's a, I think that's a penalty. That's a penalty. I mean, oh, you wanna know what? So is is every penalty in the three v three just a penalty shot? Yeah, yeah. That every makes penalty. sense. Yeah, that's a penalty shot. Let's yeah, go. That's Come, why on. You... Come on. Come on, baby. Bury this. Bury it, Wink Berries. Bury it. Oh! That's why you poke check. That's how you come out and play the puck. You cut down the angle just oh, like yeah, that. Yeah, that was great. That was great. Very impressive. Ugh. Very impressive, honestly. That's a, that's a good play. That's how you got to do it right there. 
Penn State, though, within one. Oh, no. Oh, he's a breakaway. Oh, she's so going to score. We're locked in on light blue. Score. 4 2, just like that. Look at that swing. I don't like rooting for Ohio State, it's a tough thing, but I, I will. Big Ev is smiling somewhere. I know. Probably what? So upset. Big Ev, hell of a college gambler. I always fucking take his picks. Yeah, he is. I always Good take guy. him. Him and Brandon Walker. Wake up Saturday morning, look at their Twitter feed. That's who I'm taking. Only on the Barstool Sportsbook, baby. Only on the Barstool Sportsbook. Let's go. 2 0, 2 0. I mean, honestly, if we're being real, like Penn State might have had a sliver of a chance. 2 0, though. Most dangerous lead in hockey. And I was just spanked in the first game, so I think we can. Uh... Oh, I mean, he just ran it. Almost... I mean, he just sprinted it in yeah. there. Okay, well, Ohio State. 5 2. Hope they're enjoying it. How's the bracket looking right now? What do we got for a bracket? So we still got the Wisconsin Arizona State, and we can honestly, after your boy Johnny Walker decks us, I'm, uh, you know, you can almost chug an Arizona State winning that. Yeah, one. yeah, I think. So it's gonna look like Arizona State, Minnesota, Minnesota. BU versus Duluth, um, and then we got UMass who was losing in North Dakota. So that's gonna be one we gotta keep. Where does that theory stand though? Uh, I believe. North Dakota won game one. That's at least what it was looking like. I don't know if we have the final uh, bracket right now. We're going to get a bracket filled out right now. I think this is game one right here, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, I think you're right, actually. Yeah, because this game started a little late because of the yep. UMass boys. Yeah. Yep, yep. So it's 4-3 right now. I mean, this th there has not been a lot of scoring in this game. Yeah, we should stay on this game. I think this one is the uh, this is the battle. Also might be my favorite camera angle. You really see everything here. I like going up high like this. Yeah. When I first started streaming, that's what uh, I think it was Nasher told me he said you gotta do it up high. yeah definitely works out the best so we're gonna get you guys an updated bracket here in just a second right now this is game one this might be like a real uh, and face off so i mean zoom is dominating on face offs when you're a face off guy do you like going up and oh, back we, have it up. we got a penalty oh my god again we got a penalty shot penalty shot for umass for zoom ass here we go here we go trevor 400 bitties Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Give it to me, give it to me, give it to me. Oh Patty my Kane. God, Patty the Kane. patience. That was Patty Kane. The patience. The Patty Kane. How are you? It was a big one. We got a tie game. damn it. Tie game, 4-4. Four, four. Come on, North Dakota. You had chance. You were up like 3 nothing. I think I think they did exactly what you yeah. said, Grinley. They took off the rings. Yeah. They said, we can't we can't game with rings on. Or, the or they put on the rings. Oh, yes, that's actually a better point. I think they might have put on the rings. Back door! Yep. It's like getting the Infinity Stones. Four minutes left here. Cross it. Nice! Oh, good save! Great fucking save by the goalie. Wow. And we got a little breakaway here, a little 2v1. Oh. Oh, fuck off! Get out of oh, here. On, what baby. are we doing? Come on, Dwight Schrute. You make this you're the assistant regional manager. Oh, that's, that's my God. Glove. That's why you're that's the assistant to the regional manager. That's a glove right there. UMass, I want better jerseys next time. You guys could do much better than this. Limitless paper in a paperless world. God damn it. All right, we're coming down the wire here. I got UMass, you got UND. We got we to gotta compile the picks at the end, too. We got to see. Mm -hmm. I think I think it's 2-2 right now. Yeah, I think it might be. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I mean, shit. Let's come down to the wire. I'm oh, sorry. I see what UMass is doing. Send it. They're doing good. He's home for rebound. Put it in! Okay, pass it up. Good, good, yeah. Play it slow, play it slow. I like this. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, come on. You can try to get too fancy. No, come on. We can't one time hold, like hold, that from hold, out there. Hold, hold, One time little pokes. Like, what are we doing? We got a slap shot if you're one time from that far away. Come on. All right, UMass has been dominant on faceoff, so I'm going to expect them to win this faceoff here. Oh! Okay, but it goes off, so that's fine. That's still a big win. Nice pass. Wait until the last second to pass it. Nice. Oh, pass back. Woo! Oh, my God. Guys, we got to get these on net. We got to get these on net. I don't know what we're doing here. I'm trying to be too cute. 30 seconds left. Come on. Come on. Pass it down. Pass it down. Why? What a weird angle. I mean, that's just not the angle you want to take a slap shot. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, it. Nice block. Shooting Let's go. We got 15 like seconds. This. That's enough time for an attack. I don't like this. Go. I don't oh, like you're this. good. You're good. Get outside. Get outside. Like oh, this. let's go. Ooh. That's oh, sides. what are we doing? I think the, the thought was there, but we got to execute. Come on, baby. 
Oh, it's a scary one. I'm not going to lie to you guys. It's no bueno. I want the chat to put... I want the chat to say right now, what should I eat for fast food tonight? Because I haven't eaten anything today. Let us know in the chat. And I need some fast food. And I want to know what they think We're I should We're going to see eat. it all. We want it in the Twitch chat. We want it on the YouTube chat. Give us your picks right now. I want orders food. too. And look, the burger. Zumas had the burger. They had well, the I burger. I, I, I want to know. Like, if, Is there if, any Arby's in New York? Like if, you're, if you're telling me Burger King, what am I getting that Burger King? Chicken fries? Is that Burger King. Mean? Chicken fries are overrated. Not Brianna chicken fry. She's a legend. Chicken fry, overrated though. Chicken fries. I just, I've had them a few times and it just feels like air. Like I bite into it and I only get crust. I don't get any meat. I haven't had chicken fries in probably five years. I have to look back into it. Yeah, I might have to look, look back into that. McDicks, yeah, I agree. McDonald's always nice. Always, make, can always rip McDonald's, so Chick-fil-A. Wendy's, Big Mac, Fish Sticks. Hey, Wendy's, massively underrated. My brother fucking loves Wendy's. I, I think it's good. Two double Somewhere. stacks and a Frosty. That I'll the be frosty, buried. Yeah. I'll be buried with that. The frosty's frosty. amazing. Yeah. So where I, where I grew up, like my parents' house was five minutes away from a 24-hour Wendy's. Yeah, me too. Me too. Rip it. Like we would game all night yeah. and just rip Wendy's. We look at you and be like, you want to go to Wendy's? Yeah. Be like, yeah. 4 a.m. Loved it. But yeah, yeah. Wendy's is good. Wendy's is good. Oh, oh my God! Poked that in. This so we're not, yeah. We got OT here. We have UMass is ABC. Gold. We got. Uh, North, North Dakota. Dakota is UND here. They're in green. Um, UMass got their rings tonight. It did. Playing a little cocky right now. Playing, playing very cocky. Is the ring weighing down the hand on the controller? Have you ever thought of it? Like, that's lopsided. You know what I mean? You got a ring on and you're trying to counterbalance. It's tough to do. I wouldn't I don't even want to say that. Never mind. I wouldn't be shocked if, if, <gasps> Let's if go. these guys have a break. ring in all sorts of places. Oh, well, yeah, I think I know where your head's going. Hopefully they use Manscaped. That's that's where I was trying to go with it, but it was, like tough. It was tough to it's, find. It's a tough transition. It's a tough transition. I can insinuate a little bit. UNH waxing main right now, 12 to 2. Ooh. Yikes. So UNH, that's a, that's a meat pick. You had UNH, yeah, you had UNH. Come on. Wow, great save, great save. Uh, oh my god, that was so dangerous. Oh, but it might pay off. Go around him, go around him. No. No, no, yes. no. Wow, what a save. Save, no. Yes. No, no, come on. Oh my god, he got laid out. Check that man. No, no. He needs some milk. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, let's go, baby. Let's go. Let's go, North Dakota. Mm. We're minute men of adversity. Where is that even on a map? I don't know, North Dakota. Let's go. We're down one. UMass, we're down one. This ain't, this ain't, we're not worried. Uh, let's flip it over to Cat. Give us a little recap, a little Manscaped recap of the game. Talk to us. What's going on, Cat? Well, honestly, I had North Dakota losing this game. I had full faith in UMass. I thought they were going to come out hot. And I'm just looking at the North Dakota's profiles. The guys, I mean, I guess it makes sense. It looks like they would spend all their time practicing for this game. We got a guy in a jersey, 0 out of 10. Automatically X him off, 3 strikes by 1 look, you're out. Tyler Dingman, once ate 38 wings in a sitting. I feel like that could come close to Frank the Tank. Maybe he could challenge him for 49 nuggets. I don't know. We'll have to see. Uh, Luca Drake, 69, has five dogs at home, so I guess that he's like the one good guy in this group that I would give an okay. Ian's got a pitcher on a boat. Any guy with a fish is a red flag. I would steer very clear of him. He's got a lock in for next week, Chiefs minus three. Another hot take. I mean, these guys are all over the place, but you know what I can't stop thinking about? Even though UMass just took the L, remember Bobby Trevino's end of the year interview live on TV? That lives in my head rent free, and because of that, I will be rooting for UMass. But how can you not? I think anyone that's ever been out at UMass, I think they gotta they gotta root for UMass. It's the best time in the world. Right now, we got Michigan State, Colorado. Do, correct me if I'm wrong. This game, like game one, Michigan State ran away with it. Now Colorado's. Yeah, it's what it, I'm a little confused. Colorado changed up their jerseys. They had like a basically a rebirth. Yeah. So uh, feel good. They yeah, feel good. They, they look good. They feel good. They're uh, they're buzzing right now. So it's 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 interesting to see their uh, revival. I like it. I mean, gotta revive something here. 
It's a good 3 3 tied. I, I like what we're seeing. We're bunching up way too much here, though. Like, guys, space it out a little bit. L like, let's breathe a little bit. Uh, I might be a trip. Oh, a trip. I bet you Tuesday night at CU Boulder, I bet these guys are playing in the midst of a big old party. <laughs> I bet there's yeah. just like people surrounding them, and it's just like three guys playing. Say, just a cloud of smoke, and the cloud guys just smokes. ripping it. Oh yeah, there's there's beer bongs going everywhere. There's like, what if we had a everywhere. hockey team? You know? Oh yeah, I agree. That's a damn good time. All right, that's the end. I think of the second period. So we're going to third. A little intermission for you now. We'll see what's coming up now. So guys, this, this tournament's shaping up to be pretty good, and these round one matchups. Have been damn good. I think really the only blowout we saw was Minnesota kind of had their way. Arizona State. Yeah, Arizona I mean, State. We didn't know the number one EASHL player in the world was on Arizona State. So they're going to be deadly matchup Louis. against Minnesota tomorrow, uh, tonight. So that's going to be interesting. And that could be fire. So it could be BU Arizona State, which would be a nice game to see. Yeah, it would. But we'll see. It say. definitely would. We'll see. Chat, let us know, guys. Who are you rooting for? Who's your school in this? Show us who your dog is. We gotta see. Oh, that should be a penalty. You also never finished your story earlier that uh, someone just put in the chat about uh, how you got to Barcelona. Oh, how I got to Barcelona. A really unique story. That, it was unique in the sense I had no... Wait, we got, got a penalty shot. Shot. We got a penalty shot. Louis score it. Louis score it. Bang it. Boom, <laughs> baby. I'm Michigan State, buddy. I'm I was Michigan just rooting State. for the goal. I gotta be honest. I got <laughs> caught in the moment. God damn it. Sometimes the moment gets the over. Big. Overs club. <laughs> That's it. I'm just banging the over on the Barcelona Sportsbook right now. Um, so I did a unique story where I had zero connections to Barcel whatsoever. Smitty and the Game Time team were hosting Tryout Tuesday. They said, submit your stats in the Discord, okay, and get the chance to play with Smitty, and you can play in the Nick Merck's Gauntlet, which was like the biggest tournament in Warzone at the time. So I submitted my stats in. I was ranked like the number two prospect based oh, wow. on KD. So I have like a 3-7 KD in Warzone. Yeah. Like I don't I don't move, you know, very much when I'm home. I just kind of chill, do a couple push-ups between games, sick flex. And I just kind of rip Warzone all day, literally, and crush fast. How many hours are you talking? Oh. How many hours? How many hours a week? Do you want to know how much? So in, 20, in 2020, which got me signed to Barstool, I started streaming in March. So half the, season, half the year, so nine months. And uh, I had a full-time job at the time, too. I streamed 54 days on Twitch. Like, full days. It was something like 13 or 1,400 hours that I was live on Twitch. And that's not me editing. So, also with that. So, I was like a grinder. I was just live all the time. And on top of that, I created my own website where I blogged. I had a podcast. So, did they just notice? Who Like, did someone take notice? Or is it probably Logan Basically, took Logan took notice. And what really caught their eye was, obviously, I was grinding, which was good. I used to host my own tournaments. So, like, I would host these, war, uh, these Call of Duty gunfight tournaments, Search and Destroy. Logan was like, this is sick. We want to do this at Barstool. We want you to be the guy. Could you come in? So you'd like, host it just like this? I would host it with this with Smitty, and we, we did, like, a bunch of these Common Man Cups. Michigan State scores another, another one. So then I got a chance to, like, cast with Jake uh, Marsh. Got a chance with Robbie Fox. And we were just casting these tournaments left and right. And on top of that, I was playing with Smitty a bunch of tournaments. I was playing, like, Among Us Nights with, like, all these other personalities. I mean, Michigan State's running away with this. Um, but I just kind of, like, grinded my ass off to get here and ended up moving to Hoboken. Thought I was going to go back to the office where, full time. So when you were doing all this, where, where were you gaming at? I was gaming at my parents' house, yeah. I was yeah, living at home. Where, where at? Uh, Westchester, New York. So okay. White Plains, yeah, if you're familiar. So it was, like, 30 minutes north of the city. But, uh, yeah, I had to, like, soundproof my room because I was keeping my parents up all night because I would stream, like, until 3 a.m. every morning. Like, it was it was basically 7 a.m. to 3 a.m. every morning, every night. Wake up at 9, rinse, repeat, edit during the day when I should have been working. Yep. And uh, So you, this, you had a finance job at the time, right? I had a finance job, yeah. Worked so do you bank. think that the pandemic helped you because you were able to, like, work from home? Oh, fuck yeah. And, like, I, it, 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 it allowed you to be gaming when yeah. you were supposed to be, like, working. So in college, I was streaming Fortnite a bunch, and I would, like, solo squad for anyone out there who watched. Like, I would go alone and face, like, teams of four and just wipe the floor with them. Like, I used to be nasty at Fortnite. Like, disgusting. Really? Like, disgusting. I have all these old videos on my Twitch that we could go watch at a later date. But, um, so once I went... How good are we talking? Like, world ranked? I was... I, w I would compete Brent, for money. How good? How good was he? he he's, he's here, isn't he? <laughs> like, L like I took. I haven't played Fortnite like for two years. Good? Like, well, he was a different beast, but I was I was up there. Like, I always make this joke, and it's dead serious. I was known as the Fortnite guy in college. That's like, we sad. would be at the bar. It was the Grape at Fairfield. It's the only bar there, and everyone would come up and just talk to me about Fortnite. That's sad. and like I would get 
I would drink responsibly and then go back home and just get. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I would just sick. rip Fortnite. Man, it just ripped like, up. Gaming like yeah. wasn't even a thing when I was like, not. Yeah. I mean, it was a thing, but no one, no one I went to college with ever had a gaming set. Yeah, like you didn't stream yeah. like games. I just had my. P- I was just streaming off my PS4. It was the most unprofessional shit of all time. With the, but all with my the friends PS4, wanted to watch. Uh, the, yeah, the, the camera but the camera my friends just wanted to watch me, so I would just yeah. stream it, and they were in class, and they were just like ripping it, and we just had a ton of fun. So basically, that's like how it started. Oh, come on. This is, this is game two. This here. is a great fucking game. But real quick, I'll end with this. The pandemic helped me because one, I got my stimulus check. Immediately bought a PC to stream because oh. once once I went to uh, work in New York City, I was working downtown. I was commuting three hours a day. I had no time to stream or even like anything. Yeah. Once the pandemic hit, Warzone dropped. I was like, I kind of miss streaming. I want to try it again. I just started putting like everything in my power I had into it, and I would, you know. I don't ever wish a global pandemic again for anyone. It was a terrible thing. It fucking helped my career out ridiculously because yeah. I wouldn't be here right but now. But I think that that, that that was because of you, though. Not because of the pandemic. I appreciate because that. You, you noticed there was an opportunity there, and you, you took it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just ran, just fucking ran with it. I want to give a huge shout-out to the Game Time team and Logan and everyone taking a chance Cause, on me. Because the pandemic didn't just happen for you. It yeah. was everyone in the world, and, and everyone could have stopped what they were doing and, and bought spent all every dime in their bank account yeah. to get a PC but you did it yeah so you know I went all in yeah help living at home at time and honestly it wouldn't change it for the world and yeah it's been a blast being here and uh, honestly huge shout out to just Barcel in general like I had an interview with Erica which I almost shit my pants in and Gaz and it was the most nerve wracking thing in my life but we're here today and that's uh and that's all that matters they took a chance on me and we've been we've been grinding ever since it's a great place to work oh it's a big place. goal for you mass so uh North Dakota won game one yep so, so we're here in game two. Uh, North Dakota's up. I mean, UMass up one nothing. I think this one's going three. I this one's going three. We need. I don't. There ha- I don't know. If have we has, seen a game three? I don't yet? know if we have. Yet. Oh, we did. Quinnipiac Duluth. But that was like the only one so far. This would be a great game three. Yeah, because this has been a yeah. battle. Yeah. And you know the UMass boys want this more than anything, especially because they just got their ring. Like they want to dominate yeah, real hockey, kinda, and they want to dominate. I'm actually kind of shocked that there's like they're here and they're playing. Like I feel like they should be like 15 bottles deep on Hobart Street, right? Now. Yeah, like, that's what I'm saying. You just got your national championship. Well, this timing might work penalty out. Penalty shot. Penalty shot. Penalty. PK. Then we're gonna flip it over to Cat in a second. Come on. Bury this. Bury. You're going. Come on. Oh. See, that was embarrassing. That was embarrassing that was for Dakota. Terrible penalty. Let's flip it over to Cat for an so update. Penalty. 15 bottles deep. You said they should be. Who's saying they're not? I could say they probably are. Working to their advantage while you guys were talking about it. Ohio State moved on. You know who else moved on? UNH. If you were here from the beginning, you would know my picks. BU, UNH, Ohio State. Vanelli called me a jinx about an hour ago. I'm not a betting girl, but I would say you should probably be riding with my picks right now because I'm three for three. It's still going to be an OSU-BU final, but this game's been good, and I'm happy you're here at Barcelona MREX. I was tearing up in the background at your story. (laughs) These UMass rings, going back to the proposal, if it was a proposal with one of those rings, I would consider saying yes. Really? A national championship ring? So you can save a lot of money by winning. Okay, oh, wow. I see. Let's see it this year. Would you get any adjustments? Like, would you get your initials anywhere on there? Like, on the bottom or anything like that? Probably ha- no, because it'd be my new last yeah. name on it. Wow. There you go. Win a Deflex. national championship. Cool. Let's go. Cool. This is a good one. This is a good one. We like that. And honestly, we can be honest. The boys are going to game tonight. And if they win, I'm sure they're going to celebrate. Oh, I would hope so. And they better use their Manscaped before they go out. Praise the Lord. 20% off. Manscaped.com slash chicklets. It's that easy. It's easy as that. It's it's that it easy. doesn't get any easier. Oh, it's a big one. Wow. Well, I mean, I that's true back-to-back yeah. real quick. I'm feeling good right now. Maybe this one doesn't go to three. I would love to see a game three, though. So, yeah. so my chat, the chicklets chat over here is talking about the best college arena in all of the entire yeah. NCAA. And I, I would have to agree with the chat right now. Everyone's seen the Ralph, which is where uh, North Dakota plays. Oh, really? They do this cool thing between the second and third periods where they put on a uh, like a Vici concert almost. It's like, Actually? Yeah, they do all the uh, Coldplay song. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah. The Coldplay song with the uh, Sky Full of Stars oh, remix. I love that song. With the Vici's remix. Love that song. And it's, 
It's I'll, I'll show you a video. Yeah, like yeah, it's, yeah. It's the one Get of the coolest things you'll ever see. Get some bumping. I like that. I mean, what that's else do you cool. have in North Dakota? That's exactly what I was gonna say. Which is kind of cool though, because you know when this when these when this team is playing, that's all the entire state of North Dakota, all five hundred, the population of five hundred people yeah. is talking about. You know what I mean? Yeah. But that's pretty fucking cool. It's almost like uh, it's like its own Texas, like where Texas, the high school football is going on. That's all they talk about. Yeah, but there's like fifty thousand yeah, fucking high school yeah. schools. There's there's one call it. You yeah, know? that's why it's so cool. Shout out to North Dakota State. Like Wait, I'm happy. That what's they going have, on with South Dakota? Like they got oh, yeah. like they have no they, do they have any like ho- have anything? hockey or like any Division One schools or South Dakota State was like weirdly good at basketball I think for a little bit like good enough to I'm make out. the bracket. What is the capital of South Dakota? I think I fucking I barely know the capital of New York. Um, South Dakota capital is uh, nah I, I'll be I'll be completely honest with you. Oh I no way any thought. friend you know. There's um, no way any of you guys got this. Couldn't even name a city. In There's South like Dakota. no fucking chance. I've never heard of this place. I'm, I'm gonna be brutally honest. I couldn't even name a city, think, right? Mm, kinda. Not really a woman's name. Might be a man's name. Pierre. Pierre, South Dakota is the capital. No, Have you be. ever heard of that place? No. But only, honestly, only you in the context of that, it's the capital of South. Dakota. You you could have named any city in Pierre? South Dakota. What the know. fuck? Seriously, name one more city from South Dakota. Biggest city. Fargo. Is that North Dakota? Is that a movie? I think. Is that? Oh, it's Sioux Falls. I, I've heard of Sioux Falls. It's a junior team there. Ah, 150,000 people in Sioux Falls. Mm, that's actually not bad. Yeah, it's pretty big. Other than that, it's fucking tiny. I'm just surprised they have internet, honestly. Yeah. I I honestly, I guarantee it's a beautiful place to live. Oh, I can imagine. The polar opposite of New York, which is the the, the movement and people and the city and just the chaos. That's almost nice. I mean, we got... This is... There's a lot of action going on, but a lot... Not a lot of scoring. And UMass has got to put another one on the board here. I mean, they got all... They have the momentum with the attacks, but they're just not bearing it home. Yeah, I think next goal is huge. I think what it comes down to, I mean... Oh, shit, here we go. There's a little breakaway. Go right, left, right. Easy, right? Oh, Oh, God! (laughs) Wow. What was he doing? Because the the guy in the breakaway fucked up, too. That was terrible. But then the goalie came out and botched it. The goalie lunged but went, like, vertical instead of horizontal. If he went horizontal, you would see he went vertical. Yeah, Yeah, it made no sense there. Damn. That was a big one. He left the goal completely open. Seven seconds left. That's That's a big one for UMass there. Oh, can we score here? Rip this. Rip this. Oh, no. No shot. All right. We're going to period three. Yeah, going Goal to period intermission. Three. A lot of action going on here. And then we still have another round after this, don't we? Yeah. We got another round, but all those games are going to be going on at once, and then we're going to be updating them. So quick, like, this is how the uh, the bracket shaping up for next round. We got Arizona State, Minnesota. I know Cat ran through this before, but just so we know, the matchup's going to be ASU, Minnesota, BU, Duluth, Michigan State versus the winner of this and UNH versus Ohio State. Okay, so we're just waiting for UMass, North Dakota, yeah. and then we have uh, the second round set. And if I have my picks, I would think, I personally think, actually, I'm going to let you pick from that game because I have to take BU here. So we got Arizona State, Minnesota. Fuck, because those are both my teams. Yeah, I those picked are tough. both those. Yeah, but you can pick one and move on. I'll give you one. I mean, I, I think there's a clear answer I'll here. I'll tell you what. I ride with my guy Johnny, and I die with my exactly guy Walker. Right so I, 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 I'm riding with Johnny Walker yeah. in Arizona State. Louie is the best player in the entire tournament. Johnny Walker told it to me. He's our barstool athlete, so I trust him. Yeah, that's so I'll, I'll take B, I'll take ASU. You got BU? Yeah, I have BU because so I'm riding with I'll them anyway. I'll and take then, So you would be riding with UMass no matter what, as long as they win this game. Yeah, so... I'll, so Yes. We'll, we'll wait for this one. You still got that one granted. And this one, I'm taking Ohio State. Okay, well, I want New Hampshire. Perfect. Oh, that's perfect. Perfect. Works perfect. out well, then. Works out well. Let's go. As we're talking about that, the, the, the period just started. North is, Dakota. Um, good for me, because this is game two right now, right? So, yeah. So UMass not only has to come back from this one to win, yep. they have to they win, win the next one. one yeah. But if, if 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 UMass wins this one, comes back, they have a ton of momentum going into game three. Yeah, you know what do. I mean? Should oh. we should we get the sh- Barry? Oh. Should, should we get the the other uh, series started? 
Um, or should we wait? Should we wait to start all at once? We I think we wait to start them all at once because it'll be good. These have been running like pretty much on schedule. Uh, I think I think we run them all yeah. at once. We'll have like the full bracket set out, push that out, and then we'll start the round two action. So all round two guys are going to be going on at once. And a little reminder: tomorrow we're going to be streaming both semifinal matchups and the final. So it's going to start again at 7 p.m. Eastern tomorrow. Appreciate everyone for joining us. Shout out to the Viceroys for assembling your team. A lot of people went to make this happen. Shout out to Manscaped for really bringing you this tournament. And shout out to Spitting Chicklets for honestly being huge factor here. Prize pool. We got Cornelli in the booth promoting this. It's been a ton of fun to do. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you how this all came to be. I was sitting at my apartment one night um, and I saw that you guys were fucking killing it with a Call of Duty tournament. I'm like watching, I'm like, wow, this, why, like, why can't we do this? Mm -hmm. So I simply just shot Logan a text and said, there's no reason we can't do this for NHL 20. Two weeks later, we're in a meeting with all of us and now we're here. So it's Beautiful. like, it's, it's incredible. The, this, I don't want to say the system, but the functionality that, that the yeah. way that, uh, Barstool Game Time has built itself up where... Someone like me can just text someone like Logan and be like, hey, I want to do a tournament. Yeah. And, you know, two, three weeks later, we're sitting here and yeah. we're doing it. We have a sponsor. We have a fucking sideline reporter over here. We got fucking <sighs> schools from all over the country. <gasps> it's like, it's incredible. UMass is dominating. Yeah. It's, life, life is good. Life is good right now. Life is good right now. And once we get one of these done, we can do a lot more of these as well. UMass just tied it up there on a nice breakaway. I mean, that was easy. Goalie sprawled out. Also, want to give a huge shout-out to Kat for being our sideline reporter here. She stepped up big time. Let's throw it over to Kat right here. Kat, thank you for being here. Pride and joy of Burley. thank you for having me. You know, girls don't really know sports, but here we are. I've been counting down hockey season on my Twitter. Guess how many days until the season starts? It's 24, baby. I have it memorized. You know, I'm just happy to be here, honestly. Offer my my female perspective because I'm sure so many people out there appreciate it. But I have the rundown for the bracket. Our next round, if you guys want it, I'm ready to give it. Go for it. All right, let's hear it. So Arizona, Wisconsin. Arizona State took the win. They're going to be playing Minnesota to start the second round. We also have my boys, Boston University. Sorry, BC. Not really sorry. Sorry, Dad and alumni. You hate to see that. Grinelli's going to be wearing MRAGS's merch for game time the next week because of that game, and I love that. We got Duluth beating Quinnipiac, so they're going to be playing Boston University. And then we got UNH and Ohio State. This is a hard one for me to watch. I have friends on both of those teams. Oh! What just happened? That was a nasty goal, Top Ice! Right outside the blue. Play the replay. Oh don't God. skip it. Don't, don't skip, skip it. Don't skip. Don't Cat, skip I'm it. I'm so sorry. That was disgusting. Ding, ding, ding. Don't skip it. Don't skip. Oh, that was nuts. We're going to get a clip of that. We're going to show that. That was disgusting. If North Dakota moves on with that. Oh, my God. That was the Manscaped play of the tournament. If they move on with that. Oh, but UMass, they don't want to end it here. They're going to try to force this oh, one. I know. Oh, my God. We got 20 seconds left. Nice pass. Oh, I mean, that's block. a terrible shot. That's oh, a God. terrible shot. Yeah. I mean, you got to one-time that. If you can't one-time that, hold it. Oh, put <gasps> it in! Ten. Nine. Bunch of frauds. Oh, my God. What are we doing? Oh, oh my God. 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 Oh, my God. Three. Two. One. Oh. That's the game. Let's go. Oh. North Dakota. Oh. oh, my. Where are you even on a map, North Dakota? Oh, oh my God. What a goal. Someone just threw that in the chat. The goal. We can pop that up. In a second, guys, we're going to get that clip in just a second here. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe that went in. I'm going to throw this over to Brent. That was nuts. Oh, my God. Holy shit. That was crazy. What a goal. Side note, I, wow. I didn't know you could gift on YouTube. YouTube wow. Gaming didn't know you could gift. Some, some, someone just gifted us $6.99 in Canadian dollars. Nice. A little so, cat action so for you. We got 7 bucks. Wow. We're, we are partying. Wow. Let's go, baby. Shout out to you, sir. Shout out to you. Ryan McBain. Ryan Asking why I left McBain. Twitch. I just do what I'm told. That's it, baby. That's the action for you. Wow. That was unbelievable. You know that? Yeah, I'll send it over to Brent right now. We're going to show you guys. We're going to give you a quick recap. Of that. To me, that is undoubtedly your Manscaped play of the game. I, I don't know. I, like, 
That goal was nuts. Absolutely nuts. So we're going to get this over here in just a second. We're getting a little wardrobe, uh, wardrobe change here. We're going to let Brennan just sent it over and give you a chance to pop that up. And then go from there. Wow. All right, we're breaking out the Nebraska jersey. Nebraska That's club clean. hockey. This one's clean. Uh, I forget what the exact. The purple's got to be for the. Uh, what is the charity here? So yeah. It's for Hope. something. Well, purple or... is is uh, pink. Uh, do you sell that pink? Uh, it's, it's, I think it was oh. some sort of cancer. Yeah. And I feel super bad that I don't know now. So I feel like an asshole. But shout out Nebraska hockey. Nebraska club hockey sending me the fire. Absolute That's fire uniform. And I think. One of the cool things about the ACHA is, like I've mentioned before, how cool like uh, club hockey is, is the jerseys. They don't have like all these rules from the NCA. You can wear these colors, yeah. you can wear those. They make some crazy That's ass awesome. jerseys. So it's the uh, purple. Like it's obviously not Nebraska. Club. That beautiful yeah. jersey. It's a beautiful. It's a beautiful sweater, beautiful man. It's a beautiful sweater. Very so. nice. Let's go Nebraska. Let's go Corn Huskers. All right, we're popping over. This was the goal. It was three three. We're gonna transition over in just a second. Um, and here we go. We're gonna play it. Nice Watch this. Bad boy. Watch this. Cat getting a lot of airtime here. Beautiful. You love to see it. Watch. I mean, this. I can't believe this went in. Look, like he's dancing up there. Rip! Oh, I mean, that's just an absolute snipe. That's a rip. I mean, it's just an absolute bar dance. I mean, that was nuts. That's why you pay for admission. That's why you come to the games. That's why you pay, baby. That's why you come to the games. CJ Griffin, thanks for the 100 biddies, man. I appreciate you, King. That was nuts. So with that, North Dakota moves on. That was that was the biggest upset we've seen so far, like without a doubt. Okay, so let me, let me ask you. So yeah. we, we got to pick teams now. Yep. We, got, we got to pick. I, uh... Well, so yeah, you get your pick between North Dakota and Michigan State. I I would like North Dakota. Yeah, ride that momentum. I, 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 I wanted to pick North Dakota at the beginning. Can't pick against UMass, but I'll tell you what. Like, when I used to blog about college hockey, the North Dakota fans are, I don't, they're kind of like Patriots fans where, I'm a Pats fan, so it's like, <clears throat> and anyone says, like, <clears throat> anything wrong about, like, your team, they jump down your yeah. throat. Like, if I wouldn't make North Dakota number one in my power rankings oh, every yeah. week, they would just jump down my throat. Good for engagement, though. Like, you know pulling I mean? up old, like, high school hockey pictures of me being like, you fucking stunk in high school. How are you able to decide how, like, who is the fucking top-ranked college schools? And I'm like, dude, I don't know. I just drank a few beers, and, like, I wanted to pick a f who's, Yeah. Who's the top ten schools in the country? Oh, that's so funny. I love that. Yeah, let's roll through it. All right, so the finalized bracket. Shaping up. This is round two starting right now. This second, you guys see it on the screen right here. We got Arizona State. We're gonna pop it up in just a second. We're full cam right now. You guys want? I know you guys want to see our beautiful mugs. But we're gonna transition here for a second. Right here, Arizona State, Minnesota. Grail, you got Arizona State. I'm taking in that ASU. One. I'm taking the Sun Devils. I love it. Up next, we got BU Duluth. I mean, come on, that's easy money for the for BU right there. Or, and, and so I'm expecting that's gonna be ASU BU. This is allegedly. tough because I'm the Boston guy, and I feel like I should be on BU. But I'll, I'll take Duluth. You made a stance. I'll take Duluth. You're I'll taking Duluth. Duluth so. I'm sorry. That's the way it has to work. You got North Dakota. I got Michigan State for the next matchup. And then we got New Hampshire versus Ohio State. God bless New Hampshire because... I low-key think State. UNH is going to make a run here. I, I'm not... I wouldn't shock me at all if UNH makes a run yeah. here. I wouldn't... Yeah, I mean, they have nothing to lose, really, you know? Because, like, I'm, I'm over here Ohio hyping State's up. Ohio State's look you know? good, though. Ohio State's look fantastic. Yeah. And I'm over here hyping up OSU, like, you know, me and Cat are rooting for OSU, but what if? It's always there. Like, you know, what if? So that's going to be interesting here. Um, well, face-off here going on. one nothing right now, uh, Michigan State. And I got to be honest, I kind of like the Michigan State over here. Over honest. North Dakota? Yeah, I did. I did. I thought I thought Michigan State looked very good against Colorado, personally. And North, I mean, oh, was that a testament of Colorado sucking because they don't have a Division One? That's program, a great point. Or is it because, like, because Michigan State's fucking nasty? Oh. That's that's a that is honestly a very good point. And and, it, and it's also like was like was North Dakota and you matched a really evenly matched game yeah. of two people. So what? It was very evenly matched, yeah. even though it was two zero. Yeah. It's a good point. We're, I guess we're going to see here. We're going to see here. And this just in, BU is up 2-0 early. BU is up 2-0 early. Also, ASU, ASU is up 1-0. 1-0. 
as well. So would you guys like it'd be to go interesting. To yeah, let's uh, let's pop over to ASU. Well, yeah, we gotta see this Louis guy. Yeah, we gotta see Louis. Okay. We gotta see Louis. We gotta see this Louis guy. Spartans are looking good here. We're gonna stay up to date with that, guys. We are reading chat. Let us know what school you're rooting for. See a lot of chat. MSU coming in. Um, I don't know how to pronounce that last name. See you. Sue? Go sh f fighting Sue. 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 Yeah. Sue. Sue. The fighting like Sue. Sue. I like that. The fighting Sue, baby. J Fly. Three months. Love you, baby. Uh, still a coward stream. If Emrag's on it, you're not wrong about that. Let's dance, baby. ASU. Wow, tied up. 1-1. One, one. Wow, Minnesota's not messing around here. I mean, this is a battle of two, just two good teams. Yeah. So, if we is Addison Ray on ASU or Minnesota? So, whatever team wow. Addison Ray is, I want to root for that one. I think Addison Ray was on... Yeah, I'm not sure. I feel like the chat might know. Oh, right here. So right now we're watching. Yeah, it says Addison Minnesota. Right there, but does that is that from Minnesota or? Yeah. For... So Minnesota. So who has the puck right now? It looks Minnesota. like Minnesota, right? Yeah. So that's Minnesota. That's Minnesota's players, Addison Ray. Wait, or is it ASU? No, because so so see so the, the red the red, green and blue, is the team currently with the puck, and that player in the bottom left is the team. So once we determine who the team is with the colors above them. That's Addison. Yeah, Ray. yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I think it's Minnesota, but they're the same colors. I, you know. No, I also think I, I got. I think it's ASU. <laughs> you might be right. You honestly, you honestly might be right. Chad, help us out here. Chad, please help. Whoever designed the Minnesota shit has way too much time, or do they have that much passion? They didn't sleep for three days making these jerseys. Little of both. Beautiful. Little of both. Little of both. That's what you gotta have in life, you know. All right, we're gonna see here. And say, I honestly don't know. I guess we're gonna have to wait to see till someone scores. Or an intermission. Nope. I think intermission we might be able to tell. Oh, wait, no. Just fought. Okay, brown team here. Yeah. Brown team is Addison Ray. And I and I think brown team is ASU. Okay. So ASU. Down 1-0 with Addison Ray. I would expect Addison Ray to lead them, lead them to victory. So we'll see here. Yo, yeah, okay, Yellow good. team is Minnesota. Yeah. Got it. Yeah, so we're right. Brown Brown is Addison Ray. Yep. Yellow is Minnesota. Beautiful, baby. That's beautiful. So it all works out. I'm rooting for Addison Ray. Well, let's dance here. Second period. This is a good little game so far. Let's see if Addison Ray can uh, renegade her way to victory. That was good. That, that was a good one, right? That was slick. I've been saving that, old, that one yeah, for a while. Yeah, yeah. I've been trying. I've been trying. Oh, wait, where's this goalie going? Where is... Wait, ASU where's, goalie. where's the goalie? He he was just out to like uh like the face off circle and there was a shot coming lunch. in. That was crazy. Nice poke check. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, we need a goal. We just need to see who is Hang who. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, literally. Bang. Oh, slap shot missed, not the one timer. Good defense by Red to get back there. Uh, oh, nice little dangle. Cut over. Nice. Way to collapse. This is good hockey, honestly. For 3v3, three three, they're really closing up the uh the gaps, which is very tough to do. Icing. Okay, so I know that's a hybrid icing right there, but like they were so close together. Why isn't it a race of the puck? Like, when does it get called for icing? Uh, at the hat, at, at like the. Whoever gets called at yeah, the. Yeah, uh, it's got the. It. It's like a race to the hat. Got it, got it. Interesting. Oh, breakaway! Breakaway! Addison Ray! No. She's playing with us. She can't dice roll that one in. Nice blocked shot there. Good deal. I mean, oh, one timer. Great save by the goalie. Guys, if you're watching this right now and you've not played NHL, I cannot oh. stress enough. Oh, I, I mean, was going to say how hard it is to be goalie. Yeah, so we were right. Minnesota with the goal. Addison Ray down 2 0. The most dangerous lead in hockey. We'll see. Not worried. You seen how Addy looked on the Met Gala carpet last night? You ain't worried. I'm actually going to pull. The comeback queen. She looked great. Dyed, dyed hair, blonde hair, red dress. Oh, wow. Looks fantastic. Got a breakaway. We got a breakaway. What a save! Wow. That wait, is actually I'm, unbelievable. Wait, I'm rooting for Brown to score. Yeah, you're rooting for Brown yeah, to so score. Yeah, so I didn't want that save. <laughs> wow. All right. Got something there, Grinelli, for sure. You look good. That's really look good. She deserves a goal here. She deserves a goal. Come on. Back door. Come on. Man, feed had, him there. Almost had that one. Good defense from the boys here. Come on. Don't overcommit. 28. 22. Stay in your lane. Oh, yeah. 
Nice feed by the goalie there. That's why, you know, the NHL ones, when, you're, when you get the puck as a goalie, you'll, I love throwing it out. But you got to be a little careful. You have to be in NHL. <laughs> Was that a little five hole? A little five hole action? Right under the cup? He manscaped because that went right through, I'll tell you that much. Kept it nice and clean. Wow, nice and clean. Oh, baby. Jeez. The Minnesota goalie's playing out of his mind yeah, right now, by is. the way. And I was going to say, before that breakaway goal happened, it is so hard to be a goalie in this game. Like, you have to make such precise movements. Uh, it's impressive to see. You One just have to have them safe. make the first move. You just, like, kind of yeah. sit back in your net a little bit. So hard to do, though. That like, is. just wait as this guy's fucking dangling I do kind of like it, though. It's fun. Yeah, it is fun. It is a blast. Because it's a challenge. It's, like, yeah. so different. If ASU goes down 1-0, we got to check in with Johnny Walker. Oh, yeah. Got to check in. Should I give him a call? Eh, we'll see. How's he, how's he in live interviews? You all right? We've had him on Chicklets. We've had him on Chicklets. Yeah. Well. I'm down. See, because Johnny's got to answer for Louie here. Great save for Minnesota. Unbelievable. Nice. I mean, that was just a little backhand right to the chest. And he, he gets dangerous there. That was a dangerous pass out. He's going to do it again, though. Goes behind the net. Okay, so BU is up 3-1 right now. We got UNH up 4 nice. UNH is a wagon. UNH up 4-0. Yeah, UNH is a Michigan wagon. Michigan State up 4-0. BU up 3-1. I mean, UNH is a wagon. They are who they thought we were. Or yeah. they are who we thought they are. They is who they is, you know what I'm saying? Wow. So UNH. Wow. That's unbelievable. All right, so we're going to see how that one plays out, guys. I'm excited. I think UNH is going to make a run here. What else is there to fucking do in New Hampshire besides play video games? Yeah. I mean, yeah, but, they're dom but they're dominating Ohio State, that means? That's crazy. Sure, that way? Like, that's a, that's a shocker for every single one of us. And we you saw it because maybe Penn State was that bad. It's Tuesday night. The guys at Ohio State are saying... Let's wrap this up. We gotta hit the bars. Big night ahead. Yep. We're at Ohio State. I'll, I'll tell you one thing too. Penn State, when we ran the the bar the, the college gaming championship, the war zone, Penn State was the worst team I've ever seen in my life, which is pathetic for a school of forty thousand. Yeah, right. Like if oh, you can't get a big goal, Minnesota is fucking dumb. four zero, the most dangerous lead in yeah. hockey. That's what they say. Minnesota is yep. is on another level right now. That's unbelievable. I mean, Minnesota hasn't... Have they been in a game yet? They've dominated... I think they've smoked everyone every game. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, St. Cloud... Yeah, they kind of had their way with them. Kinda when you play way. NHL, it's kind of one of those things you're always like, oh, this kid's from Minnesota. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Spank, you're like, oh, oh, you know right away. Blonde-haired kid from Minnesota. They've been doing this uh, their whole life. Let's throw it over to Kat for a little mid-game update. I'm just trying to look at these Arizona State players. I'm getting a good look at them, seeing why they're probably struggling right now. Uh, took a look at Sean Doogie. Height, 5'3". No shot. Swear, 5'3", 150. He likes to eat sushi. That doesn't really help you buff up at all. Uh, his weakness is reaching the top shelf. So his buddies had to have run. You got to hate to see that. They don't even have good team charisma. His buddies are just rooting against him, absolutely roasting him with that. Then we got Gamertag, Como23. Weakness, she who shall not be named. So he's too whipped to even practice playing. So they did not come in prepared for this tournament at all. They're fighting. They were hanging out with their girls. I mean, I, they're done. It's over for them. Sorry, it's Sun Devils. Your time's up. Wow, we got another oh, go there from ASU. We got a big, big one from ASU. I bet that was Louie. That gonna, looks like Louie. I'm going to nickname Cats a cat, the, the grave digger. Just mm -hmm. putting people into the ground. Mm -hmm. My God. I am just so happy I'm sitting at this side of the desk and not behind the screen right now playing yeah. for Cats to just roast me. Cause I don't know what my player picture would be. There's nothing worse wow. than just like a girl roasting you. Of course. Like, she's got worse. me. She's right. She's right about it all. She's right. I can't reach yeah. the top shelf. Yeah, she's right. I can't reach the top shelf. I need a new cologne. I do spend too much time indoors playing teeth. games. Yeah, I do need a haircut. <laughs> anyway. You brush my hair with a pork chop. <laughs> <laughs> Minnesota, you're 6 2. ASU scored. Minnesota answered right away. Right away. I so. mean, this is. It's Minnesota's tournament to lose right now. This might this might just be one of those games right now for ASU. You, you you're just kind of getting the energy ready for the next game. Yeah. Right. Like six two. You obviously don't want. You're not giving up right now. But you're like, let's get some good possession so we get that momentum and we know what works for game two. Because honestly, game one gonna be a little bit tough to come back from four goal yeah. four goal lead. Yeah. So we'll see. Yeah, get the pre workout going. Start start prepping yeah. yourself. Let's see if we can flip over to. We're gonna flip over to another uh, game right now. 
And we're going to be going over here. This is BU. BU 6-1. Six, six yeah. BU's a wagon. BU. I mean, it's beautiful. We're not shocked. We're not shocked here. I mean, they came in. I think we can all agree BU has the best jerseys. Yeah, 100%. We, and we saw them right away. I, we weren't even live yet, and we're yeah. like, that's fucking clean. Yeah, we're all taking that's pictures clean. and stuff. It's yeah. We love that. We love that energy. BU is meant to be here. They've earned They've earned every second of this. Yeah. Oh, and here we go. Here Here's we a nice little breakaway. Run. Oh, penalty? penalty? Has to be in the other team. He's supposed to be for Duluth, yeah. yeah. Save it. Great. I mean, he just went in a straight line to the to the right side. I Like, that wasn't, I wouldn't say great. Penalty shot, but that's what it is, baby. He's played well. Goalie played it well. Goalie did play well. Again, that patience. It's funny. It's like the best thing you can do as a goalie sometimes is, no joke, put the controller down and just let it go. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Just just slowly back up into the goal. Like, let him <laughs> fucking it. make them, like, screw up. Uh, come on here. On your side reminder, the goalie is BU's starting goalie. Smart. What's his name? Drew Camesso, drafted to the Chicago Blackhawks. He's one of the tallest goalies I've ever seen in my entire life, and one of the most normal goalies I've ever met in my entire life. You don't see that often. Uh, uh, most goalies are pretty weird. It's known in hockey. You, you know about that? that? If you're that flexible, you gotta be a little strange sometimes. You know I mean? More. <laughs> yeah. Those splits that they're the doing, they they're more flexible bend, to me. The way they can bend and even like to warm themselves, I'm like, God damn, that's just impressive. And any human move like that, you're different. Hot guy. He's a good looking guy. Yeah. He's a Massachusetts kid. He actually said he grew up a BC fan, which you hate to see, but he ended up at BU, so it's fine. We'll forgive him. And how tall are we talking? Like six foot eight? Six yeah. foot nine? I don't know his exact. Six, I'm, six. It's, bad, it's hard for me to measure, especially when they're on stage. Yeah, but you just saw him. You're just like, that guy's way too big. He's he's a tall. It makes it easier for him. Yeah, like, of the course. Bigger, the bigger the goaltender you are. Like who is that? Like Ben Bishop? You don't see small goalies anymore. You got to be large. You just yeah. take up more space. Wow. I've been told uh, Luke Tuck has an embarrassing nose. Has a. I mean, I'm no. I'm no. He's got a schnozzle. About a bad nose, but I heard he's got a big old schnozzle. He's got a Roman nose. Or he's Roman over his. Schnozzle. He's Roman all over his face. And this is coming from a family member. So I'm. I'm getting told by his family members that he's got a big old schnozzle. And uh, yeah, you know, I mean, it's, use it's a haircut. It's 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 just tough to chirp him right now when they're just putting on a show. I want to see a side angle of this kid, guys. Can we get a side angle. Oh of my Luke god! Tuck? He just put wow. it in on the side angle. That was nice. The fucking side angle of goal. He stuffs it in there. I want a side angle of him. That's all I want. I mean, if he's a tuck, he's a good looking dude. Yeah, he's got to be. You know. Got to be. Wow. Seven to three right now. BU's looking good. And I like it. Yeah. Yeah, that was your turny pick at the beginning. Easy for of me, the, baby. Beginning of the thing. That was a little risky. I said, I said. The the round one's gonna be the hardest one because I really thought whoever made it out of BCBU was gonna go far. Me too. Me was gonna too. go far. I think to the finals, but easy to say to the to the first. Uh, UMass North Dakota too was one that I yeah. thought I thought was gonna uh, really really settle it all. Yeah. And you, honestly, even though I know that was your pick, UMass, I did think that they were gonna make it through too. Yeah, me too. Like at least through to round one, I thought they were really just gonna power it through. But that's life. That's just how it goes sometimes. You get a real, you know, ring. Sometimes you don't win the virtual ring. It's okay. It happens. Life. I want everyone that's in the Spit and Chicklets YouTube right now to click the like button. There's thumb no, love. Just give me a th give me some thumb love. Thumb love. We please. need some thumb love. The reason we're able to do these things is because the chat is so responsive and so great and so receptive to everything. Big goal by BU. So keep the positivity flowing. Keep us. Give us some likes, give us some retweets, but most importantly, give us a thumbs up on YouTube right now. Hey guys, I'm throwing the chat right now on Twitch. Blasting the YouTube link over. Throw the spin chick with some love. Give him some thumb love. Let's give get to 100 likes love. right now. 100, 100 likes. likes. There's no reason we can't. We have 223 people watching. Help feed our BU's going off. BU's going, going, going off. BU's insane wow. right now. Unreal. BU's team actually looks like they play Chell. Yeah, honestly. These boys are grinders. I'd FaceTime Wit right now to get his reaction, but I'm afraid he might yell at me, so I'm yeah. not going to do that. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Maybe if they win the finals. Maybe, maybe, but still <laughs> very, let's let's tell that line. Don't don't want to bother Wade. Oh, that's funny. I love that. But right now, the boys are looking good, 9-3. Nothing but love to my BU boys, but this is the most, that, the best that they've looked on or off the ice in the last three years. All right, so BU Ohio State goes to the finals. Who are you rooting for? 
question. Honestly, I have to say BU because... Yeah, what the fuck? You didn't go to Ohio State. I didn't go to Ohio State, but they're my team this year. I'm switching over. I got no love for BU when I graduated. It's fine. I think Matt Brown is, like, single-handedly carrying the whole entire tournament on his back. He seems like one of those guys that just, like, doesn't go out and just plays for a living. Like, gets off the real ice and then gets on the ice on the sticks. So... I think that in Matt Brown we trust, and he's probably going to win the whole entire tournament because this is like his living. The hesitation there for you to go to your own school is it was uh, it's noted. Yeah, it is noted. Very noted. Mm -hmm. Got to be honest. I understand it, but it was noted for sure. Hunter Nine four Best. right now. Hunter Best, Jack Janky, Wales. I see you guys in the chat. I love you guys. We appreciate you. That's a big love. goal. That's a nice goal right there. Listen, that's like the over hit right now, guys. Yeah. Let's get some thumb love. We're at 82 right now. Get Give some, us 100. There's 212 in the chat. Like, just fucking hit the up button. Hit the like button. Come on, baby. Oh, thumb love. Appreciate you guys for being here and hanging out. We love it, baby. Favorite hockey for life? Yeah, favorite hockey. The most dominant. Fairfield University, let's be honest, probably the, the most dominant sports school in the nation, right? Ob objectively speaking, you know? I think if we're talking about most dominant and like rich Connecticut kids, then yeah, like it's it's probably <laughs> most dominant in Fairfield County. Yeah, for sure, because we're yeah. the only school. Yeah, there's no doubt about that so one. That's, that's a W for BU. Yeah, for sure. That's a that's a big W. Oh, look at that celebration! Oh, we can see. Who is this guy? How is he floating? I am gonna be right back. I gotta go to the bathroom. You got it, Grinnell. We'll hold down the forty. We'll we'll Catwell. Wow. We we saw a celebration of a guy flying. So right now, got a little Wisconsin A. S U. Cats gonna be sliding over. That was a good Chris Collins or slide. We're I got, in like, it. We're on in Monday it. Oh, that was a good one. That was a real good one. I got color. You got play by play. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's dance. So right now, a little bit of action. I think ASU dominated. Absolutely dominated the first one. But we got a penalty shot right here for Addison Ray. Is this my team? I'm Mikey. I'm Greenelli's team. Let's go, Addison. Oh! oh! She won the Met Gala. Look. She's winning on the ice. Let's go. Fuck. That's not good. I mean, honestly, I'm happy for you. Cat, I'm happy for you. That's not good for me, though. That's not good for me. I had Minnesota. Oh, wait, that was Minnesota. <laughs> We're rooting for the that wrong team. Right, fuck. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Oh, we love it. And now, like, ASU dominated game one. But Minnesota, how you doing? Oh, let's go. That's beautiful. I love that energy. MSU guys was up 7-1, by the way, as of the last update. So Minnesota, I'm sorry, Michigan State was up 7-1 over North Dakota. So Michigan State might just be Dominic Cat. This is going to be a huge confidence booster if they beat ASU after how much we just hyped up yeah. how good ASU's top player yeah, is. Yeah, I agree. Oh! There you go. Okay, okay, we're coming back. Oh, and that was Charlie crazy. Demilio. Demilio. Oh, that was Charlie Jamila. That's kind of cool. All right, so this is the TikTok. ASU is the TikTokers. It's like they're not the real team, yeah. so they're like, let's just be the TikTokers. Yeah. Old We're back. Roll. We scored. Old dice roll. Who's we with? scored. Who, who scored? Grinnell, I just want on the record that Cat did. did cheer when Minnesota scored. Um, you Because you thought it was uh, Arizona State. Okay. And now Minnesota is up 2-1. This game's kind of nuts right now. Yeah, this right game's back and forth, man. It just doesn't seem to stop. I mean, this is unbelievable. And Minnesota took down game one. Correct? Yeah. I'm, yes. No, I think it was Arizona State. I thought Arizona State was... Oh, no, Minnesota No, did. I think Minnesota Yeah. Because I'm down bad. Yeah. I'm not I'm not doing good right now. It's okay. It happens, man. It happens to the best one. And we, we found out that Arizona State has Addison Ray, obviously, but they also have Charlie D'Amelio. Do they? Yeah. So, I, so, which is cool. So, they have Mark D'Amelio probably in the stands watching, too, which Hopefully. is nice. Yeah. There you go. That's Addison Ray. brother? It's her dad. Ah, it, yeah. yeah, she just has a sister. Uh, I know, oh, I know Dixie. Dixie. I, I, I know her sister. Don't know her dad though. Bonk. Huge bonk in Wait, chat. huge bonk. bonk. I don't know what bonk means either. Bonk. I don't know what it you means. don't know what bonk means. No. Bonk is for the way that you said you know her sister. And the way you said you know Addison Ray at the Met Gala, like that's bonk. Oh, horny. Yeah, you being a little horny, a little bonk, bonk, bonk. Definitely, you know? definitely, definitely a little horny. Thank oh, God baby. I have my Manscaped 20% off. Manscaped.com slash chicklets. I mean, what don't they have? They got the hair and body wash. They got the ball exfoliator. The lawnmower 4.0, which is the absolute best in the game. Absolute best. Please. 
exactly. If you're uh, if you're bonking, then you're gonna need to be. Uh, did I use that correctly? Mm -hmm. If you're bonking, then you need to be uh, manscaping. Gotta be manscaping, especially in college. You'll never get more opportunities like Bonk. that in your life. I like that. Yeah. Oh, it's a big one. And here, I mean, this is a. We got five goals in the first period already. Minnesota's up by one. People are oh my saying Louie is going off right wow. now. But, I mean, Minnesota's scoring goals left and right, chat. Don't fuck with me Like, here. Minnesota, I mean, Louie might be going off, but they're down 4-2. Yeah, they're down 4-2. You know what like, I mean? And they're down also one nothing here. So, it's like... It's tough. It's tough sledding out there. Like, I, I did have full faith in Wait, Louis. why are we going both yellow jerseys right yeah, now? Yeah, you notice this? Yeah, it's tough. It's hard. To be yeah, honest with you, it's very tough. I think those are just... Is that a just, bonk? It's just the school colors. The colors? Can, can we bonk them if they're both wearing yellow? Uh, I don't know if they're horny for wearing you wearing yellow. I, we could say that could be a good narrative to push. Oh, here you go, penalty. I feel like the refs bonk. bonking penalty shots. Oh, what are we doing? What do we got, controller broken? Come on. Bonk. He buried it! Yes! Wait, but I don't know which yellow is my team. No, that was that was Minnesota. No. No, that was Arizona! That was ASU, that's what I'm what saying. I'm like, hell? I don't understand what's going hey, on. Hey, that was that was fucking my dog Charlie D'Amelio there, it said. She just scored that one. I don't understand what's going on in this one. So much yellow, so much maroon, so much red, it's just it's just pure chaos. It's just pure chaos here. MSU up 2-1 going to the second. Let me ask you, if you could go to any one of these colleges, which one would you go to? Probably, I mean, the first one that jumps right off me and, like, I think would be sick is Arizona State, personally. Like, I love that weather. All year round is unbelievable. Pretty solid sports school. Like, everything I've heard about Arizona State is Sick. And don't be wrong, similar with Penn State, Ohio State, but you also got the winter you got to deal with. You know what yeah, I mean? so it comes down, it's Arizona State, Penn State, or Ohio State for me. Yeah. I think Ohio State would be fucking nuts. Yeah, it would be crazy. Yeah. But but which is also crazy because you're also just like in Ohio. Have you ever thought of that? I mean, I went to school but in Ohio State upstate is New electric. Hampshire, yeah. so it's like, I'm, I'm yeah. all about the random states. Yeah. So it's, but Ohio State is like its own city. It's Yeah, that would be yeah, an I mean, unreal school to yeah. go to. Yeah, and it's like, it's like a... Columbus is like a sports town. Yeah. Right? You know oh, my I mean? God. Yeah. Unbelievable. The way they root for their teams, it's got to be amazing. And then it's just like constant entertainment all the time on uh, on campus, which is so cool. We love that here. So we're flipping through games, guys. We got the uh, Michigan State game. is 2-1 right now. Michigan State is winning that one over North Dakota. Michigan State is kind of surprising us all because we, we, we really felt that North Dakota and mm -hmm. UMass were like mm -hmm. top dogs in yeah. here. So... Surprising here. I think, New, I think New Hampshire is uh, a shocker as yeah, well. Yeah, I New agree. Hampshire's been kind of running through everyone. Spanking them. Oh, Red. Bro, what's going on? You can't be taking pee breaks in the middle of action, bro. Mm -hmm. All right. And this is another one where we got green and green, you know? The color rush is hard tonight. I don't it's know. It's been tough. It must be so really tough to play, to stream at, in a college like apartment yeah like if i told my roommates like hey like boys like no one go on the <laughs> no one go on the wi-fi yeah and i need everyone to be quiet for the next like four hours yeah, virtually impossible they would have thrown like a party and told yeah. everyone to go on the wi-fi yeah you know? on purpose like just sharing the wi-fi password for yeah. no reason yeah hey guys download yeah. all your netflix shows while you're here going you over know? your neighbors being yeah. like hey here's our wi-fi if yeah you need it. oh yeah tyrone what's up baby bonk away let's go unh is gross yeah they're disgusting Absolutely disgusting. Absolutely nuts. But this is a good game here. Again, I, you know, too, too much green here. Too much green. Maybe oh. next time we'll, we'll, we'll sort by uh, color rush. Because <laughs> that's something we didn't think about. It's kind of funny. But so we'll see. 23 is a brick wall. We'll see. We'll see how he's playing out. Again, guys, this is round two. So the winners of this are going into your semifinals. So... And that's tomorrow. It comes down. And we'll, 7 p.m. And we'll play that tomorrow. 7 p.m. action coming for you. I'm excited for tomorrow. It's going to be a blast. I'm going to go all in on one of the teams tomorrow. Just a fan weather fan. Yeah, of I mean, I'm lucky. I can just ride my BU. I know. I mean, I all your pick. teams are riding. I had like, a good pick, bro. All my teams, I think, are out. Yeah. Or got to Tough be sledding. Out. It is tough sledding. I, you got to pick one and ride I it. went all in on UMass. And they failed me. And then I went all in on Arizona State. They look like they're about to fail me. Yeah. 
That's so good game. That's a tough matchup, though. Put this one in. I don't know who I'm rooting for here. Put it in. Nice poke. Nice poker. All right, so we're gonna, so Michigan State is going up. So that was Michigan State. So um, who won the first game here? Was it Michigan State? I think Michigan State was up like 7-1 at one point. So, yeah, MSU was up 7-1. Uh, MSU has a top-ranked shell player. Yeah, so it's, it seems like MSU, if they if they can hold on here, they're going to advance to the semifinals. Yeah. And then, so too. do we have a score update on UNH? On UNH, UNH Ohio State? UNH, Ohio State. Yeah, you want to switch over UNH, yeah. Ohio State? UNH in game one were up 4-0. I would imagine they kind of spanked them. Um, do you have an update, Ken? So we'll see here in, in just a second. And here is, this is... This OSU. Is, this is UNH, uh, OSU. So it, it sounds like UNH won the first game, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, they were up four nothing. That's the last I heard. I'm, I'm, I'm almost certain they look pretty damn good doing it. So we'll see about that one. I'm almost positive. I'm riding with UNH. They're my. I think they're like my final pick. Oh, that's wow, awesome. that was nice. That was just fluid. That was crisp. He's got the Dana Beers mullet. This guy's looking good. He knows what he's doing. UNH 10-0 in game one. Um, I'm riding with UNH, baby. They're my team. They're my third oh, squad. Oh, no. Maybe the boys should have been out partying on Saturday. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> like four days ago. That's crazy. Yeah, UNH is disgusting. Sheesh. Yeah, man. You know about that one. And what else is there to do in New Hampshire? Yeah, no, literally. Right? Should have went to UNH. Game great out. school, great school. Seems like a good time. Like fun you. time. Yeah. Fuck a lot of fun. What's up, M fans? How you and buddy? Welcome, welcome, guys. We, Wait, no joke. We're at ninety nine likes right now. Like one person. Give me one more. What Sign on to your mom's Google account and give us a like. Wait, it M fans are those your fans? Oh, that's like his name is the same way. But yeah, he's my fan. He's one of my boys. Uh, yeah, I'll take that. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's that's nice. fine with me. Oh, penalty shot. Penalty. PK. 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 Give it to me, give it to me, give it to me, give it to me, give it to me. Come on, come on. Oh, that was such an obscure one. That up. That was obscure. He tried to go up with it because he just flipped it up. He goes up and over. Wow, try to get a little too cheeky there, mate. Try to get a little too cheeky there. Like I said, UNVH. M fans, number one fan of MRAX confirmed. True. Shout out M fans, man. Good guy. What a guy. Good guy. Nice guy. Tries hard. Loves the game. That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. Can't measure heart. You can't. know that, right? You can't. That's what it's all about. Let's flip it over to Cat here. Wow. Update just... on the action. I mean, in our pregame interviews with Michigan State, let's just give you a little update on how they describe their game. We got Nash, who said he's never played competitive Chell before. We got Dennis, who has said, this is the first NHL game I've owned since NHL 13. Also rocking a state tattoo, thigh tattoo. Love that in his pro pick. Jagger said he has no clue how to play goalie. And then we have Mitchell saying he's the chill guy on the team. So this is the definition of you got one superstar, you just ride it on him fully, and it seems to be working out for them. I mean, that's just an absolute shot in the gut to OSU. The Michigan State came in so unprepared. That's hilarious. Just tell me this guy's. This is the first chill he's owned. That's just incredible. That that's tough to lose to that. You know what I mean? I mean, you think he's stretching the truth a little bit? No, I mean I can't. I the NHL twenty uh, twenty was probably the first chill I've owned in. Really? Yeah, in probably a time, while. Long yeah. Long time. And then I got myself into the video game. But but truthfully, if you play NHL 14 and grind 14 like today, yeah, and then play 21, so different. Yeah, you can live. You can replicate it right yeah. through. So I think this kid might be like still the grinder of like the two. Like oh, he probably yeah. has a 360 in his apartment, just shredding it with the boys all day. But he's like, he's not lying. Hey, my I'm Xbox, sure the this. Xbox I was using until Xbox Canada sent me a lovely Xbox. Beautiful. One. I still haven't taken it out of the box. <laughs> Love that. <laughs> like an asshole. Um, I was using Chuck Nazo's old Xbox, yeah. Who, but it was also Rudy Junda's old Xbox. Oh, that's great! So it had gone through like four people, and it finally had got to me, and it would just like you'd be playing, and it would just like shut down. <laughs> it would just like it just turn off. 
The Sisterhood of the Traveling Xbox. Yeah. I love that. That is awesome. And, and, and it's, I still have it in my apartment. I won't throw it out. It's just in a box in the closet. Yeah. That That's like... It's just an antique at that yeah. point. You know what I mean? It's got Which some memories hilarious. on there. can only imagine the stuff Rudy was watching oh on there. Oh, my God. Can't even, he's got some crazy stories. He's a funny kid. Rudy is an all-timer. He was a great guy to live with. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he, uh... Yeah, he's a great guy. <laughs> shout out Rudy. Shout out Chuck. Yeah, shout Chuck out Chuck no Nazo. No cap. Is this Fortnite? Yes, this is Fortnite. Where you're watching right now? Did you know? This is a much tighter game. So you're you're, you're telling me UNH won 10-0 in the first one, but there is only a two-one game. That's. I mean, shout baby. out to Ohio State. That's hockey. Yeah, it is. Anything can happen. Yeah. Oh, and as I'm saying this, oh, oh wow, they're good, man. UNH yeah. is good. You can just yeah. tell that. But look, Ohio State's also just bunching up. They're all just char- like like they're having two, three guys on the puck and just leaving everyone open. It's cross crease central. Oh, we got, we got another shot. penalty. Come on, come on, come on. Bring it home to Scorps, boys. Bingo. Damn. Bingo. Right around the left side. Bingo. It's too easy. It's too easy. Come on. 3 1 action. Ohio State Buckeyes not looking good for them right now. I just need UNH to move on. It's it's looking that way. If I just you know, need one school. I don't know if you caught the Raiders uh, Ravens game last night. That was an absolute shit show. What I don't the expect fuck? that. That yeah. was insane. It was a uh, it was like a pee wee hockey. It was like a pee wee football game. Yeah, it was Gruden's crazy. Gruden's an idiot. Oh, that was beautiful. Wow. Oh, that was nice, Sally. Oh, he's gonna practice. He thought he was gonna send it cross crease. Sent it right through. Beautiful shot. But yeah, Gruden putting out the field some- goal unit on second down was a bold strategy. A lot of good sportsmanship here. We're skipping replays. Yeah. What I like honestly, to do is I like to make the other t- If I goals, score a nice goal. Oh, my God. If I score any goal. Yeah, they're watching my replay to know every what time. just happened. Yeah, every single time. It's it's pure toxicity. That's how I play. Yeah. You got to let them know. Yeah. I mean, and as we're talking about it's a close game, in the matter of, what, 30 seconds, UNH just pulls away 4-1. And... Ohio State. There's, there's still a lot of hockey left here. Though. A lot of hockey. I think with this Ohio State team, they got they, they're explosive. They could come back. Ohio here. State. That's like the second offside in like three possessions. Like, come on. You got three guys on the ice. Tighten it up. Uh, Tighten the, it up. The the drinks might start be starting to kick in for the Ohio State that's boys. What it's looking like yeah. Tuesday night they're trying to Pre-game get rowdy. Started around eight. Yeah. Nine thirty. Oh. They're on their second yeah. dose of Pink Whitney. I don't know where these passes are going right now. Oh, I'll be two zero. Oh, he's should, trying to get cheeky with yeah, that. He's he trying to slow it up. Two on it. Just put it in the back of the net. You got to pad the stats a little bit. We're not looking at these uh, fancy goals. It would have made a nice clip, though, but we'll see here. JJ's. Sounds like MSU has just punched their ticket to the semifinals. MSU. Is, is what I'm being So that's told. the first one. So MSU over North Dakota is your first one in the semifinals. And Ohio State scored. We got a little bit of life. I mean, that's just what Jack Jank said in the, in the chat. I don't know. We'll, we'll wait for our guy, Ben, to confirm. Jack Jenks, if you're a filthy liar, you better not be. Cody Sullivan, I'll tell you this right now. The question, Libby's or Scorps? I always got asked this every time I go visit UNH. I'm a Plymouth State guy, but I live and die by Scorps. Wow. Always. And just like that, UNH... 5-2. They're looking good. UNH is our team. It's my team. You, we're riding and dying with UNH. So New Hampshire's a beautiful state. Would Gambling's be, legal. How would you feel about UNH versus Michigan State in the next round? Does that think, scare I, you at all? No, I think UNH oh, that's a penalty. smashes them. Yeah, that is a penalty. That's definitely a penalty right there. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. PK. Let's go. PK. This would Come be making 6-2. 4-3 BU right now. Come probably. on. Come on, UNH. Do it for Scorps. Oh, couldn't go five hole there. Respect the effort. I'm going to pop over here to another game right now. Someone in chat, drive for five, saying 4-3 BU. We're going to check on that right now. We don't know if you're... Oh, that is accurate. Shout out to you. Third period as oh, well. We have a battle here. We have a battle. Duluth. Who won the first action. game? Who won this first game? Uh, BU by a lot. Like 9-4, okay. 9 Okay, yeah. so BU could punch their ticket here. Yeah. Would be BU most likely against Minnesota if that happened. Fuck, that's a hockey powerhouse that's match a up. Nice one. That's a fucking nice one. The hockey nice fans one. come for. Yeah, oh yeah. But I mean, BU, we got to put them away. What are we giving them these chances for? Come on, boys. Show a little bit of heart out there. Come on, block this. Clock the middle. Nice, nice. Eh. Oh, 
Okay, penalty. Penalty for Duluth. Oh boy. Come on. Save it. Oh! Nice. Love that. Love a little good poke check from a goalie. Uh, a guy we mention on Spit and Chicklets a lot. Uh, or we used to mention a lot. Uh, Brian Diffley. Used okay. to play for BU. Hot as shit. Hot guy? Oh. Is this, guy? Guy, this kid, man. This kid. He's hot Long, like Tommy Fury. Hair. Oh, man. This kid fucking gets. He's modeling. Play, playing hockey in France right now while he's modeling. That's yeah, not a bad life, huh? Life is good. Diff, keep killing it, buddy. Oh, look at that, Selly. That was, that nice. was a nice Selly. Now that we got a 4-4 nice. game. We got 4-4 action right here. Are you kidding me? That kid used to play for BU. That's why I brought yeah. him up. Yeah, hot guy. Yeah, f former uh, roommate of Jack Eichel. Nice. Love that. In modeling in France and playing professional hockey. It doesn't get any better than that, man. Good for him. Good for him, honestly. Eat cheese, jealous. going the Eiffel Tower. Eating some nice baguettes. Oh, I love a nice baguette. I love some nice baguettes. They're the best. I'm just, I just love bread. I do too. I, I eat way, far too many like bread, carbs, like yeah, me too. pasta, that kind of shit. It's all. Yeah, it's the Italian in me. Yep, that's all it is. Block it. All right, we're clocking the middle, which is good. Let's go. Send it. Oh, good pass. Right, left, right. Oh, oh what, are what are you doing? What are you doing? What are we doing? Okay, we're down. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. That was scary for a little bit. So our yeah. chat, our chat is just saying uh, Minnesota just rinsed ASU. Yeah. And, and that 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 one looks to be done. Yep. And uh, it looks like Minnesota might be moving on as well. Yeah. So Minnesota, BU. So this uh, people are saying Minnesota's a wagon. Yeah, it's a I mean, wagon. I think they are. They're pretty. They look great, but. Minnesota BU is gonna be a battle. That's what I'm saying. BU though had tough match. Like Boston College was a tough matchup, and also Duluth is a good team. So that's gonna be a I really know. interesting B Minnesota BU, BU. Low key might be the best Nine. team because they they're playing some Five, of the best teams. Four, three, two, <gasps> one. Oh my god! Oh! Four, four seconds left. Oh my god! We got a ball game. No way. We got a ball game. I no jinxed way. BU on the spot. I no just jinxed BU on the spot. I hate you. No shit. Oh shot. my god. Oh my god. That was unbelievable. I like. I'm ready for BU. Shout out to Duluth. That was. That was. I'm that sitting was nuts. here being like, yeah, BU's a wagon. They're good now. They're oh sick. Oh my god. No way. Oh my god. I cannot believe that just happened. No way. We're going to OT. Holy We're going to OT. shit. Woo! That's insane. So, uh, Minnesota, or is Minnesota, right? Minnesota, Minnesota, Duluth? Yeah, it's Duluth. Duluth. Duluth could walk it off here. No, 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 no. Boston, you won the game one. Oh, yeah, sure, right. Boston, you, uh, yeah. Try the hands off. So, we yeah, get a game three here. That's what I mean. BU could walk it off. Yes, though. BU could walk it off. That would be a lot. That's, that's killer. That is killer. 0.4 seconds. <sighs> no shot. 0.4 seconds. That's so crazy. is this the last game? Is BU Duluth the last game of these th this round here? I believe so so UNH is up seven five right now in the third. So we got UNH still going. They're probably gonna win that one, and we got this game going. That's oh, well, that's it appears it. to be it. Yeah, because Michigan State's through, Minnesota's through. Electric night one, by the I way. I know. I'm, Electric I'm at, night one. This is this is the perfect way to end it right here. Is on yeah. this one. Like this is an intense. This is an, it, crazy. Okay, I'm like I'm like nervous. I'm not. I'm not actually like I'm like visibly nervous. <gasps> oh well, I mean, God. hey, let let for for you BU people, if they lose, they got another. One. They do get another. They one. Got another one. So they're up one here. Oh my God. Oh, dude, I just feel like it's. Just I think the loose gonna get oh, yeah. this. I think, I, think Deleuze, I have a weird. Oh, oh. Oh, he didn't go off. He didn't bring it back over. Oh, wow. Great puck control. Unbelievable. Oh, oh we got red. It's following red. Off. Play him out. Uh. <gasps> no. Oh, my God. The goalie just left the entire net. Send him. Send him. Send him. Oh, my God. Wow, Blue's trying to be B's a hero. B's going to score. B's going to score. Blue's trying to be a hero. And he is. I think that's Tuck. Oh, my God. Going back down, going back down. This is just breakaway after breakaway. Oh, go, 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 go. Mm, Come on. Oh my God, this is so intense. Nice. 
Alright, PU, slow it down, slow it down. We don't gotta rush this one. He's sending it. Nice. Up to the point. Cross it back up top! You got a slap shot up. wide open! Alright. You can you can literally cut the tension in here. The knife right now. A penalty shot? Penalty shot, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. And it's Duluth! Oh he scores it! That's game. That's game. Fuck you and fuck you. We're going to game three. Fucking game no three. Shot. Game three. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my god. We're going to game three. Duluth. That was insane. That was insane. I mean, how funny is that? Well, yeah, you know, uh, Minnesota's going to be facing off BU, powerhouse. All of a sudden, boom, we're going to game three. What just happened? Dynamic story. 0.4 seconds left. That's they crazy. scored. That was fucking nuts. That was absolutely nuts. This is the end right here of the uh, UNH, UNH Ohio, Ohio State. State game. Ohio State's not going to be able to score four in 30 seconds. I so mean, UNH even, is moving on. Even in football, they couldn't score four in 30 seconds. So I don't think this one's going to happen for the boys. They're, they're, they're showing heart, though. Hey, there's one. There's one. Three more in 21. You never know how that happens. Yeah, math guy, uh, seven goals a second. Whew. Or one goal every seven <laughs> seconds. Math, math guy. guy. Love that. Uh, and here we go. Just going to kind of bury this one home. Be fancy a little bit. Try to bury that one. UNH. Oh. Can you imagine? I mean, there's no shot, but yeah, no, there's no shot. Nice hit. UNH. So it's gonna, it's gonna come down to the wire for this final game here. Yeah. One game decides it all. Decides the tournament right now. Wow. That's unbelievable. So guys, we have three of the four matchups are finalized. Yep. Okay. So just to give you guys a quick update, Minnesota punched their ticket through. Michigan State punched their ticket through, and we just saw UNH punch their ticket through. So it's gonna be Michigan State versus. New Hampshire. Yeah. We liking that one. Yeah. A Q and H. Give me yeah. I'm U and H, you're Michigan State, you rolled them, I'm riding my guys. Yep. I love that. I love that energy. So that's how it's gonna shape up right now. And then we got still trying to see who's gonna be facing Minnesota. We're we're about to get going in the action here. Um for BU and Duluth. All the energy right now is with Duluth. Um I just I can't believe it. I can't, I, believe, I can't it. believe how that last game ended. It was like BU's moving on. We're like, oh, they're a wagon. They got it. They did this. Yeah. They're one of the best teams in the tournament, and yeah, we jinxed them. That, you couldn't script that any better. Yeah, you really couldn't. Like, that's like every movie ever. Yeah, and we just gave them that for a TV show, anything like that. So we're loading up the game right now. We're gonna get into the action. We're gonna flip it over to Cat real quick. Cat, give us a little prediction here. Give us, I want a little score prediction. What do you think is gonna happen here? Right now, BU Duluth. Let's do it. I mean, anybody that knows me knows I'm taking BU. I'm thinking about the guys that are doing this. It's Cade. Cade is a calm, cool, collected guy. You know, he's like, guys, we're we're gonna be okay. Then we got Camesso in net. He's also very calm, cool, collected. But his his most important thing is that the team is respected. You can't be respected if you lose. So he's going to make sure that they come out with a win. And then we got Matt Brown. Don't know Matt Brown, but everybody says he's pulling the team on his back. And then we got Luke Tuck. He's probably just screaming at them right now, just pure chaos firing up. It's like it's as if they were playing EDM in the locker room is what Luke is probably screaming at them in their headsets right now. So they're going to pull it together. They just wanted to make it a little bit interesting because going 2-0 would have been boring for the last game tonight. Point. The boys know how to sell tickets. The boys know how to sell tickets. That's what it's about. They're businessmen at the end of the day. They BU's do. looking good right now to start. They're on the attack. They're putting pressure on Duluth. No goals just yet, but got a couple shots on net already. All right. We'll see, man. Guys, chat. I want everyone predictions, whether you're on YouTube, Twitch, let us know. First of all, like the YouTube. Second of all, give us score predictions. I want to see the chat full with score predictions. Yeah, I mean, it comes down to this one. No, it's like this is the final game of the night. Let's see what you got. Last last game of the season, Brett. Can't hold anything back. Great water boy reference. Huge shout out. We're going right now to game number three. Last game of the night. Shout out to Manscaped for keeping me clean throughout this tournament. Hair and body wash. One more 4.0 pop exfoliator. I mean, we're, this is the college tournament. What's better than being in college and having clean balls? Nothing. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Nothing in the world. And that's why we have Manscaped. The Lawnmower 4.0. I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. And we're giving you a deal, 20% off. Manscaped.com slash chicklets. 
easy as that. That's simple. 20% Ooh, off. Get it this now. is nice. And guys, this lasts a while. You do one purchase, it's beautiful, it lasts you so long. All the ladies are going to thank you, and they're going to tell their friends. It's my travel kit. I always, uh, she always uh, bring this as my travel kit. When we go on the road, I ask MB, I say, hey, can I get one of the, the ultra smooth packages? I like these little, uh, these are actually little razors here. Yeah. They're actually pretty sick. Seems like a lifesaver. Yeah. No joke. It gets those like little guys, yeah. you know? You have a nice beard need. over here. Oh, thank you, sir. I appreciate it. I'm telling you what, I had your beard. I'd be a hard 10. <laughs> really, your hard 10 has is. And with that, Minnesota's first one on the board. Sorry, not Minnesota Duluth. Minnesota Duluth. Minnesota Duluth. First one on the board. 1,000 0 Minnesota Duluth. That's a bold strategy. That's a bold pick. 5 2 BU. BU 8 7 0 T. Yeah, my whole chat is BU, 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 BU. Wow. Everyone's got BU. How is, can you not? Is there any bias there, though? Because what? Dude, you know what let I mean? me say this. You know? Let me say this. You score a last second goal like that. Yeah. You, UMD's feeling good right yeah. now. And B, you thought they I were bet, the hot shit. I bet they're all standing right yeah, now. I bet they're all playing on their screaming. feet, screaming. I wish we had a camera. I wish these guys had the camera to see that reaction because you know they were going nuts. Yeah, we need some cams on nuts. them maybe tomorrow. Nuts. Um, but it would have been. Uh, it, it, it's so deflating, too. For BU, but the boys look like they're on, you know, they're on the attack. But Duluth is actually putting it in the back of the net, which is the only thing that matters at the end of the day. But you need Crazy. J Pan Dolfo to step in here and, and tell them what's up. Kick Albie out. Facts. We'll see here. Luke talks. Gotta be screaming a little bit louder, maybe. I mean, that was he almost did a slap shot from three feet away. It's a really bold strategy. Not sure what that was. Uh, Duluth a wagon with some hardware. Yeah, we'll see. They got yeah, go they absolutely are a wagon with some hardware. Back to back national champions it's, doesn't happen every day. Almost went back to back to back too. That's crazy. Yeah, imagine like repeat. Imagine being back, a, imagine being a junior yeah. those your three years. <laughs> I thought the shit was supposed to be Matt, hard. How cocky would you walk around camp? That's a big one. It's a big oh, one. With my manscaped shaved balls, I'd walk around like I own the place. You kidding me? Swinging. Oh Swing. my god. And you'd be aerodynamic as well. As well. You'd be very That's aerodynamic. That was insane. Nice little goal there, a little five-hole action. Oh, we'd love to see it. Was a little left side of the net. And the, the loose goalie there, a little bit too antsy. Got a little bit too antsy, jumped a little bit. Made him pay. 1-1 one, one game right now. And this is, uh, the boys are definitely tightening it up. Yeah, you assholes know, one, are puckled. One. Yeah. Puckered. Oh, puckled. Assholes puckled. are definitely puckered. And it, it affects the offense, but they do not want to make a mistake on defense. And that's kind of what they're showing right now. So we got two more periods left of hockey. Unless we got a little bit of OT action going, which would not surprise me. I wouldn't me. be surprised at all. I mean, we got a 1-1 game. It's like the, there's no one is showing any yeah. sign of, like, uh, playing better. Yeah. You know and, what I mean? And look at the stats right there. It's pretty even. Shots Duluth's even, a little hits bit, even. Yeah, Diamond Duluth's a little even. bit more on the attack. But, like, when you have an accelerated <laughs> clock, 216, like, what does that even translate to? Ooh. You know what I mean? So, it's going to be interesting. Two more periods left of hockey, 40 minutes. and uh, Let's see here. 1-1 right now, chap. Let's go, baby. Chat never really gave me good answers on what fast food I should order tonight. Yeah. Might have to hit Taco Bell. Oh, can Wendy's? I, can I, ooh. Is there, I don't think there's many Wendy's in the city here. Wendy's I, nuts? I had, I had probably about like four or five. I had like four or five pina coladas and some Taco Bell on Sunday, and I had a rough 2 a.m. You're definitely Sunday still Monday. recovering. Nice. 100% I am. Love that energy, though. On, uh, on Sunday, I woke up and made a... I, my mom has this like world famous like buffalo dip recipe. Oh, I love a good buffalo so dip. So I made this buffalo dip around twelve. I all I ate all day. I didn't eat anything other than <laughs> buffalo dip. So for two days my stomach has just been in sham I, I can't eat. I it still was probably can't eat. so worth I'm just it. a tub of yeah. cream cheese and fucking cheese, yeah. you know? And buffalo and Frank's red hot. That's pain, but it's well worth it. Well worth it. I enjoyed it. Oh good save. Good save. I wonder if we're going to see any crazy more goals like we saw. It's a fucking almost blue I want to see the BU shot. kids take a shot at Pink Whitney here, and I want to see them do something crazy. I want to see a little toe drag, a little between the legs. Get, Let's see a little fancy here. It would be nice. Yeah, we haven't seen too many dangles. No, like, you know? we haven't. And 3v3, you usually get a little bit of that. We're going to flip it over to Cat here. Give us a little bit of a second period update. I just have a message for BU because, I, like, I'm really stressed out right now. First of all, I feel like I have karma because I was making fun of Nick from D Duluth because his weakness is brunettes with brown eyes and TJ she turned down a picture with him. So I'm sorry. Bad karma. Good luck, Nick. I hope you do well. The, BC bo the BU boys 
If you lose, you can't go to Marathon Monday. That is your threat. You can't go. Oh, that's go. a good one. That's good. Be you. You if can't. You, lose, you ain't going to Marathon Monday, you scumbags. It's one of the best yeah. days of the year in Boston, oh, yeah. man. Marathon Monday. Yeah. Getting better than seems that. like it. Every time I see it, I have a bunch of friends from Boston, and it just seems unbelievable. Incredible. Like, Marathon Monday. Also, I just want to say, as someone who I should hate Boston, I absolutely love Boston. The city, beautiful. You I'll should. move there in a second. I'll move there in a second. Love you that should. Place. It's one, it's the, I think it's the most beautiful city on earth. Yeah. It really is. Kyle, you know what else is a great city? Is Chicago. Oh, I love Chi Town. I love Chicago, yeah. man. But I went when it was like it was uh, springtime, so I can imagine the winter. It's fucking rough. Yeah, it's like just job. cold wise, but the city itself, beautiful, clean, fun, young. It's like everything you want. A ton of bars. People are always in a good yeah. mood. Yeah, I love Chicago. People are nice. Chicago. Yeah, They're nice there. Yeah. It's like you go anywhere else, you're like, oh, people are nice and friendly. Yeah. Let's go. Break away here. Be you. Let's go. Do it for wit. Do it for wit. Right, left, right. Very oh, oh, baby. That was pretty simple. He kept Bro. it pretty simple there. That's all you need to do so He didn't fun. go right, left, right. He just kind of, I feel like he kind of just yeah. made him made the yeah. goalie make the first move. I think these kids are funny because they're like 200 IQing where most times you would go and do some moves, but they're just going straight through and boop. Right Intensity through. is too high right now. Yeah. You can't second guess yourself. Yeah, I agree. We got Dangle. Give us a highlight play. Let's see. Baby. Yeah, we need some highlights. <sighs> all right. Good cycling. That's good. That's good puck rotation. Cycling. And we will say, shout out to both chats. The chats have been buzzing all night. Love I mean, it, it doesn't get any better than this. Kiss my chat on the mouth. I'll kiss the YouTube chat on the mouth. Kiss all the chats on the mouth. I'll kiss his chat on the mouth. I'll kiss my chat on the mouth. I'll kiss all chats on the mouth, to be honest. And anyone who gave thumb love, a little likes on the YouTube, you get two kisses. Mm -hmm. Just want that known. Maybe I'll give you a little thumb love back. Whoa! How you doing? <laughs> How you doing? Right now, 2-1 action. Ooh, almost put that one home. Goalie's playing really well. He's panicking a little bit, though, right now. Rip it, rip it, rip oh it. God. Oh, goalie was a little that's, bit out of position. That's a goal. That's a goal. 2-2 two, two action. And Shelly's in his net like that. Oh, disrespect. Fuck, 2-2 action. The disrespect action. right now, man. Both these teams, like, want it. And you can tell. This is nuts. I'm ner I'm I'm like actually nervous. Like I like my hands are actually sweating. It's hot in here. Oh my god. Duluth, baby, that's the national champions right there. Back oh, to no. back. That's crazy. Duluth, two goals in fifteen yeah, seconds? Like, yeah, 10, 15 seconds. That was quick. Be you please. How do you score a breakaway, take the lead, and just immediately give it up? Come on, boys. We gotta tighten this up. Come on. You're on spin chicklets YouTube. You're representing weight. I mean, come Wait on. will not be happy if BU and that, I mean passes like that. Like, what are we doing here, boys? Oh, they're they're just pressing too much right now. They're too nervous. They got to slow down, breathe. He's got to use that nose oh. of his. What is he throwing? Oh. He's throwing it away. <gasps> oh, what's Minnesota Duluth doing? He should have taken that one a little bit more around the net. He, he would have had to rig it. Oh yes, let's go. I don't know. Something's like, going on nice. here. That minute, that turnover by Duluth there. That was wrong. It didn't seem right. You think the fix is on? I don't know. There could be a fix on. I watch the KHL all the time. Lots of fixes there. <laughs> Would be interessante. And they right, could have a money third. split behind the scenes. Wouldn't shock me with those BU guys. We're going to the third, baby. Play of the period. I still think my Manscaped play of the game is that slap shot from the blue from the blue line to win the game. No way. No way that the, the goal with point four uh, seconds left has to. That's fair. That well, was it's against my team. I'm biased. But that that yeah, your yeah. slap shot was. But that point yeah. four goal. There's just You're like the right. celebration. It yeah. was like. Yeah. That was electric. I think. <laughs> was, do we leave, do we leave that to a Twitter poll and see what the people want? I mean, those are both. Like, those are both. We like, could. unbelievable plays, and I would say the point four. It's probably a little bit crazier. Yeah, because really, it matters so much. It matters so much more. Yeah, yeah I mean, dude, nuts. tie game to send it to overtime yeah. to send your team to a uh, uh, one game keeps you in yeah. the playoffs. Like, yeah, it's just crazy. It's crazy, guys. Thumb love, please. One twenty eight right now. Thumb love, please. Thumb, thumb love. love. Let's go. Listen, three. Period three. This is for it all. Comes down to this, guys. And you know both these teams want it. Right now, 3-3. Three, three. Cat, what's the end score going to be? 4-3 BU. 4-3, one goal. They want to go to Marathon Monday. I'm saying 5-3 I'm saying Duluth. That's an awful prediction. <laughs> I'm going 1-2 uh, BU. 
That's that's final lock it in. We're gonna get some negative goals this period. I'm feeling it. Come on now. All right, we got some action. They're over rotating. There's absolutely no bias here in the booth, as you can hear from our voices. Zero. Would never be biased sitting here in the booth. Oh, this is actually good. Oh. Both teams are getting opportunities. That's the great thing about 3v3s. You just get every single possession offense, is an opportunity. Offense, offense. It's awesome to watch. And I still think I'm shocked at that we're not seeing like 10-10 games. We saw a couple. For the most part, these guys are playing great defense. Yeah, I mean, and, and you kind of were at the beginning, oh, but now it's, it's it just seems more yeah. intense. Like people, tight it, buttholes, tight man. buttholes, man. Bury it, bury it, bury it, bury it, bury it. Yes, I think I got in. Let's go. No, he didn't score that, did he? He he slid on the ice. If he didn't score, he'd be pissed. Fuck yes. Off. I didn't see that puck. Go oh, in. I always look for just the red light. I didn't see that time, but I saw him slide. I was like, yeah, yeah too. Well, UMH is a, is a different animal. Wow. This is crazy. That should be offsides. Yep. 4-3. Let's go. BU, just hold it. That's Cat's prediction. 4-3. 4-3 is Cat's prediction. Like that. Come on. Slow it down. Let's breathe. Tuck. Use that nose of yours. Sniff out the offense. Come on. Use that schnozzle. Use that schnozzle. That Roman nose. Come on. Good D. Yeah, just cover your man. That's all you have to do. You don't have to get over aggressive. No pokes. Just clog the lanes. Block for your goalie. Beautiful, beautiful. That's not beautiful. That's not. There you go. Turn it into offense. Let's go. Right, left, right. Give me a right, left, right one time. Oh, that was just straight to the left. Let's go. That was, that was a little wrist shot. A little snapperuski. Because you think Ooh. he's going to go yeah. black, right, and he just goes quick, yeah. right? Like. That's what you always expect. It's a good move. I think that might have just won it for BU. Wow. I think they play too good a defense to, Five, to let, let this up. 5-3. They they got their foot on the gas pedal now. Yeah, they're, they're, just, they're just going. They're just going. I love it. Dump it in. No, yeah. I, oh, where did he get that in? Couldn't score it though. Wow. Yeah, they're Great dominating save. though. They got pressure. Great save. Um, All right, guys. Five three. Got nine minutes left. What's the most dangerous lead in hockey? Two goal lead. Two goals. Why'd you have to say that, cat? We're rooting for BU, cat. Oh no! Is the jinx on? Is the no? All right, we're doing good here. Just play possession. Yeah, I, I, oh, send some, it up. Some, oh, no, oh, change the camera, see. bro. Oh, come on, red. And they scored. They couldn't even see it. That's oh, selfish. Okay? That's okay? selfish. Yeah, it is selfish. But hey, BU six three. Six I mean, three. BU's, BU's moving on. A lot of hockey left, but it looks like BU's moving. Three goal on. lead, the most dangerous lead in hockey. What other colleges are in this? Had a bunch. Ranger from OSU. We had BC, Michigan State is still in an Arizona State. A lot of action. Penn State, who kind of sucked, but they had fun. A lot of other actions. We had 16 college and universities in this one. Penalty actually goes, so they, they can they can bring this within yeah, two. Yeah, Duluth this, can bring this, this within this two. This actually change it. This game is not over. Good that save. Was bad. Good that was save. Good save. All right, come on here. We got three to go. Five minutes on the clock. Oh, uh, what is that? What was that? Like, we can't be giving it away. No. There's just no need. Bad turnovers. Come on. Let's check. go, Duluth. Put one in here. Uh, Back door. They almost had that. If he got that one off, that was a goal. Yeah. Then, I mean, yeah. send it. Damn. Oh, he either saved or missed it. Backhand right to me at the entire side of the net open. Fogs up that five hole. Oh, a penalty? So who's BU going to be playing? BU would be playing Minnesota. Oh! Oh, we tried to get way too fancy. So it's going to be BU, Minnesota, Michigan State, UNH. Yeah. That's a, that's a nice a final bracket. four. It's a nice final four. That's a good bracket. We're going to have to get two minutes left tonight. Two minutes left. One minute. I love the accelerated clock. Oh, good dangle. Oop. That one scored. And it is looking like BU. We're just trying to sell a couple tickets. Oh, that wasn't icing? No. Oh, yeah, that's weird. Why wasn't that icing? I don't know. Right now. 30 seconds left. Could they score three goals? God damn. Seconds? Fuck. I got, I got rinsed tonight. 
Here we go. Bu. you on. In. Do for three on. Oh, what are Do we doing four. here, boys? Oh, he should have faked the pass. That would have been an easy goal. 20 seconds. Honestly, shout out for Duluth for scoring the most electric goal of the night and really giving us a game three. That was crazy. Yeah, that was insane. Shout out to the boys for showing up and yeah. having a good time here. Um, shout out to the chat. Shout out to the chat. Shout right, out let's to clap the it chat. up. Clap it up. Clap it up. Clap it up for the chat. Clap it up. We love Appreciate you guys. Chat. Love throw you guys. Some, throw some thumb love on YouTube. We're going to be back here tomorrow night, 7 p.m. We're going to be casting both semifinals. So we're going to go one semifinal, other semifinal. Finals all presented. Manscaped. Manscaped, 20% off. Go to manscaped.com slash spit and chicklets. Or actually slash chicklets. So that's manscaped.com slash chicklets. Amrags, what do we have for a final four tomorrow? Final four. This is how it's shaping up, guys. It's on the screen right now. Minnesota versus BU. Th the winner of that might go on to win this game. I know. I think that's where the favorite's at. Yeah. But it's it's tough right now to root against New Hampshire. I agree. They run through everyone. Which is crazy. They ran through Maine. They ran through Ohio State. And now it's, it's them versus Michigan State. I know they were on your radar. That was a sleeper pick for me. Like, I was not expecting them to get through. Pass round two, to be honest with you, let alone to the semifinals. Yeah. Yeah, well, it's kind of like like we talked about before. Not much going on in New Hampshire. Not yeah. much to do right now. So, Steam, uh, yeah. play some video games with the boys. The boys are ready. Shave your balls with the Manscaped. That's what it's all about, guys. 20% off manscaped.com slash Chicklets, the best in men's grooming. Huge shout out to Kat. Huge shout out to Ben, Bren, Riley. All of our social guys memes. for absolutely crushing it. The memes guy. We love it for chat. We appreciate you guys. We'll see you back here Thumb tomorrow. Thumb love before we wrap Thumb up. Thumb love. Thumb love before Thumb we wrap up. Thumb love. Right up there. Right shout up there. Shout out to Manscaped. We love all you guys. See you at 7 p.m. tomorrow. Peace and love, baby.